Yeah. Hey, oh, there cameras we are. a bit, a bit all over the place over here. That's Ooh. fine. That's fine. Hello, welcome. Over here. That should welcome. be fine. Welcome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over this Happy way. Sunday, everyone. Welcome to the one, two, three. Um, happy, yeah, Sunday fun day stream from Buddy Games. Sunday so I hope fun you're doing day. well. Uh, Liam, how was your weekend so far? It's been good so far. I uh, played uh, some Sea of Thieves Community Day with Jesper yesterday and Wesley, and that was a joy. Absolutely love that. Wesley, <laughs> he's the man from Daredevil, isn't he? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Archduke agrees. Apparently, Archduke does agree. Hello, Archduke. I don't how know anything doing? about Daredevil, so I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, you've why never not? watched Daredevil. No, oh, no, I've seen would've. the terrible film. Oh, I've never <laughs> watched ben the Affleck. great TV yeah. show. Yeah, I've never watched the great TV show, only the terrible film. So that's my whole knowledge of Daredevil, which is probably god awful. <laughs> um, also, uh, another thing that's quickly to mention is that uh, right now, today, Rosie is behind the Body Games account for once. Rosie, say hello to everybody and everyone who say hello back to Rosie. Yeah, Arch we didn't even say Archduke. You're in the book of eternity. Yeah, you're in the book of eternity. Yeah, it just Archduke. completely threw me off. I'm like, yeah, I'm so used to the book of eternity. That's like kind of my cue to. I need to write something in. Archduke, you're in. Of everyone is saying hello to Rosie. That's Ooh, quite yeah. quite nice to see. Yeah. I forgot. I need to shout out the the Discord. So I'll just do the after I've done the chats. The uh, oh yes. Simon is here as well. Hello, Simon. Demos Clay. Andrew. Uh, Andrew Lim eighty five. Um, I see Chocobo Breeder as well. Jesper is here, which you streamed with yesterday. Yes. Uh, Jesper, Jesper, and Narena nineteen eighty nine is here as well. Bandit seventy five twelve. Demo and D. Oh, I've already said Demos Clay. Yeah, you can't have it uh, twice. Demos Clay. F Babylonia over here. Uh, we got Viking Runner as well. Who wants to? Who wants a shout out? Who wants? To, who wants the name to be set by me? <laughs> Campasaurus Rex is here as, as well. Hello, hello. Go on, get in there. Get um, in there now. Get in there, not whilst you can. Yeah, because we're not um, going to talk to you again for the whole two hours. Ever. Get in there now. Um, right. Let's see. Uh, okay. Yeah, server went down. Um. How dare you, Jock Bobrier? No. Hi, Jake. Buddy <laughs> Games. This is for Buddy Games news only. No, but thanks for letting everyone know, because I'm sure there's a lot of excess uh, community members also in our chat as well. It does happen. There's a nice yeah, little crossover yeah. there. Um, Absolutely. So yes, it seems safe to join again now. So, um, yikes. I hope everyone is well and good over there, though. So, yeah, um, when it comes to uh, today's stream, uh, we are playing uh, the Tomorrow Children. Yes. Which is uh, actually a key that was provided to us for versus our first freaking key we actually had a key we had a key we for said once. to us they said hey yeah. do you want to check out this game now it's worth mentioning this isn't a sponsored video they didn't no. ask us to play this they actually in the email it just says here's a code you might enjoy the game yeah there was actually no mention of us streaming it or put it on youtube they haven't told us a script to say or, or what we should say or what we should do they literally just gave us a code said here you might enjoy this and that was it and i was like okay thanks yeah and we thought you know what let's, let's stream it anyway <laughs> so uh yeah please note this is not a sponsor stream they haven't given us any money or no. told us what to say we can say it's absolutely garbage if we want to, and that's absolutely fine. Yeah, and uh, obviously we want to also say that, obviously, thank you so much for helping yeah. us because you need to obviously have an X amount of presence on the internet to do that, and without you guys, we would have no presence. We would be non-existent. Um, Body Games is the channel. <laughs> for our Rosie. first code. Rosie did it. Rosie found the, the Ro test Rosie's buttons, doing it proper. When Rosie moderates, usually, she's literally on a really old laptop or her mobile. Yeah. But today, <laughs> she's, she's upgraded. She's on the computer, and she's got multiple screens, and she can do all these wonderful and wacky things now. Yeah. Nika gave her a little bit of a, um, like a, a, a walkthrough early on how to do it all. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, she Thank found the yeah. There's the word well. button as well. So <laughs> yeah. So if anything goes wrong, it's Rosie's fault today. Um, but I've been playing this game for the morning just to see what it's like, and um, it's the way it was described game to me. That's, that's from True Brit. That's just not a Rosie Brit. one. Thank you so much. Happy Sunday to you as well, True Brit. So the Tomorrow Children is the way it was described to me, which I, I agree with now. I was playing it. It's like it's a cross between Animal Crossing and Death Stranding. It's the Animal Crossing gameplay, but in like a weird Death Stranding world where like it's, you're in like the void and you've got to gather resources to yeah. rebuild your town, but within the void. And it's weird. It's weird. But it is fun because it's got that Animal Crossing kind of building mechanic in it. And you build up your town, you get new residents into your town, and they do things for you. So if you like Animal Crossing and you like really dark themes, <laughs> then this yeah. might be the one. Obviously, yeah. there is a, a, a very much a, a Russian theme as well to it, um, which uh, Nico's been looking into all the facts and details. Yeah. So I'm sure you'll spout them out as we go through. But uh, yeah, and other than that, uh, Liam, shall we quickly go over the Book of Eternity? Here we go. 
I just make sure I'm in frame. I always look over there because that's where our monitor is. It's the one. The book of eternity. The broken. See the salad tape on the back now? Oh, hang on. There it is. Salad tape on the back there. The things hanging off. There's Diet Coke on or Dr. Pepper on a few of the pages. So this is the book of eternity, everyone. <laughs> so this is a book that will be featured in a museum that we will build on a France 2, which we're also building, which you'll see uh, scrolling across the screen there, all our plans, and that will that will update over time as well. Yes. France 2 was originally going to be, well, it was originally just going to be a museum in France, then we're going to build a second France, and then we're going to build it next to France, now we're going to build it on top of France, and now we might also build it below France in like a weird underground cavern thing. Um, but the idea is anyone that gives us subs, bits, donations, and raids us will go into the Book of Eternity. That's an extra special thank you. And for all to see when we, you know, become filthy rich and, and build mega a museum. Mega famous. Mega, I have mega, to do it again. Yep. Mega famous. That's the one. And so uh, <laughs> that's, that's the book of attention. I have to say, Buddy Games over here says, why is there sellotape on it? <laughs> I was trying to attach the, the strap back to the thing. I was like a clip on. I was trying to attach it back onto it, but it, it, it fell off again. So that's why there's sellotape on it. <laughs> Now, we want to get a, a sticker for the Book of Eternity we do, at one yes. point because we need to dedicate a, a logo for it. We do. Uh, we really do. So, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the Book of Eternity. And uh, if you want to be in the Book of Eternity, now you know how it works. Liam, can we book. go back to the, uh, to the moat cam? Moat cam. Moping, I'm so Ooh, mopey. So oh. I swear you said mope cam. Oh, I said, I said tell me. I love my axe, says Stu Sharp. Stu Sharp, good I'm, afternoon to I you, too. I love my axe, too, Stu Sharp. You're going in the book. You're, you're in That's the book a, as well. That must be a very good alert, then, because Stu always comes in with the bouncer. The bouncer, yeah. yeah. Apparently, Stu has a new favorite game. Yeah, I think that, so. Yeah, Stu shall was the bouncer shall boy. Shall we someone quickly check his ban? Is he still yeah. the bouncer? <laughs> is it maybe, gonna, maybe now it's the dog from <laughs> Dog's Life. It's going to be Dog's Life now, yeah. or the axe man from well, Dog's that, Life. It's a funny thing, because that was the, the challenge I was facing with the thumbnail. It's like, how do you make a thumbnail for a Dog's Life? And I was like, I'm going to have to put the dog from the box side in. Otherwise, mm. people will be like, what is this game? <laughs> What is a dog's life? Hi, I'm Jake. Yeah. That's the, uh, the dog from that one. <laughs> yeah, Jake the dog. Um, yeah, I've got not, not a lot further cool. to add to we it. We should just jump into the game then. Yeah. Should we do it? Shall let's we do see, it? Let's show everyone what this game's about. Here we go. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa. No webcam. Oh. It's okay. There Ta -da. we go. <laughs> we were hidden. <laughs> this is it. The menu, everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The um, Tomorrow Children Phoenix Edition. That's the edition we got. So uh, I'll, I'll take it from here. Please do. Uh, the Tomorrow Children is a game made by Q Games, which is a studio in Kyoto of Japan. And uh, it's run by Dylan Cuthbert. And if you don't know who that is, that is uh, the man who was responsible for all the engineering and graphic design within uh, Star Fox. Well, not all of it, but most of it. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's basically been on this like massive entourage of video games over the years. Uh, and he made a video game in 2016 with his colleague Hiru Ryuhei, I believe his name was, um, called The Tomorrow Children. And it's indeed like a, a crossover between Animal Crossing and uh, what is it? Death uh, Stranding. And Death Stranding. Yeah, there's a lot of just like exploring, going out, uh, getting resources oh, yeah. and building a town together so with other people. Th this is my town so far. Yeah. But, you know, it's not much. Like I said, you're in the void. The It was the end of the world. You're in yeah. the void. And these things appear occasionally, only for short amounts of time. Mm -hmm. And these are how you get your resources. Oh, someone's arrived in my town. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, is this France 2? Are we well, building yeah. a France 2 now? <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, this, I know it looks weird. Oh, you're looking um, straight up his nose yeah, as well. Yeah. Oh, mm. dear. It's really weird. When there's people <laughs> running in there, you can see light appearing through yeah. his nose and stuff. So sometimes they just look like little islands. This one's a particularly unique one that's appeared. That's why it's you know got missiles and things. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's it's a multiplayer game, but like Death Stranding multiplayer. So you'll see these people pop up and appear and join your town and leave your town. But yeah. all of these things here get me new villagers. And literally, yeah. this one guy came into my, my map earlier and just raided this head and pulled out all of these things. There was more of them. I've, I've already oh, started well, translating them. He probably wants them. to make... Uh, because the thing is with those matroshkas, if you put them through that machine over there, I think it that is. That machine there. Yeah. Uh, they will develop into uh, into people. Yeah. And those people will need resources as well. Yes. Like they will need a town. They, they will need, need food. Uh, they need, need housing. Yeah. And yeah. Exactly that. So, uh, yeah. yeah, this guy just literally just raided this massive head and pulled out, like, 20 <laughs> of these things. So I was like, oh, thank, yeah. thank you. 
I don't think you can talk to them or anything like that. Um, and, and I believe as well that the uh, well, there's a bus that you can take. And then you can train. go to the, a train. Okay. Yeah, it's the underground, it's the, thing, the subway. Oh, okay. Uh, so we're going to be exploring some other maps later because uh, yeah. there's not much in my town. I've, I played it for about three or four hours earlier. There's a resident. Oh, there you go. So he came out of it. Like you see, they're, they're a bit like <laughs> jelly. <laughs> he looked uh, He looks like my hat hair when but, I had my hair uh, quite long. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> So when I still had like longer hair, Chad, what happens is that my hair always like uh, flops to the side, so it looks a bit like that. Uh, uh, so these are all your resources you pick up from things. You've yeah. got gold, you got whatever this is, you've got woods, food, and stone. The standard yeah. kind of resources in the game. And you also need lanterns as well, because when you go into the dark, you start disappearing into the void. You also need the light. So you need to generate these light sources as well. And there's these weird things in the background, which I don't know what they are. See, there's like a oh, glowy yeah, butterfly, right. and then somewhere, I'm sure he'll be around, there's a big stampy like Godzilla monster. That was me, so I pressed the wrong button. He and might... uh, what, so yeah, what's also worth mentioning, like a little uh, history lesson of this game as well, because I, I looked a bit into the lore of it. So basically, it, it's kind of based off of like the Cold War, where the scientists in Russia were experimenting, but this kind of took like a different turn rather than the turn that history has dedicated for it, and which is that uh, scientists were trying to experiment with something, but then that went horribly wrong. And now yeah. basically this landscape you're looking at, that's now the planet. Yeah. Like, everything just melted in exactly. this glossy white texture. And then hundreds of years have passed, and scientists have now developed this, um, this robotic kind of like creature that you can control, and that's a clone, and that's what you are right now. Yes, I am so, a clone. Yeah, um, and these clones can um, develop, they can develop more and more of them, and that's indeed the player. And what's fun is that you can all together work on one goal, like you said, the town, yep. or you can just kind of go on your own thing and just focus on specific areas that you're playing um, within the game. I think there is like a big, like I said, that big Godzilla thing. Like earlier when I was playing this, there was a bar at the top, which was like really slowly filling. I think when they get to the max, your town gets attacked. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna be very boring for just a minute because I I forgot to shout out the in the Discord that we're doing this. Oh dear, Nico, it's your one responsibility. It's, yeah, it's the only thing you job. do. Oh god. Oh, okay, I was about to die then. But yeah, I've I've uh, seen loads of uh, interviews of uh, yeah, of, uh, of uh, this, Dylan Cuthbert talking about this it. This game's only just come back, so it yeah. was it was kind of yeah, servers shut down 2016 or whatever, and uh, when yeah, it's. I think Q Games have got the rights back to do it again, basically. I, I don't quite know the full story. Yeah. Um, I don't know. There's there's more stuff in here because I saw him exploring, but I think I need a ladder or better it was, skills. Uh, it was developed by Q Games. Yeah. It was published by Sony or Japan Studio. And uh, because of that, it was a bit of like in a complicated licensing situation. But now Q Games and he's got the license back. They're now on their own servers. And uh, that's why the game is not up and running again. Oh, okay. So, they said, yeah. is it still free to play? I don't... Uh, no. So, initially it was. Oh, with um, microtransactions Yeah, with stuff. microtransactions. Okay. But now it's just like a full game. Everything in it should, should there is, be free. There is a kind of currency in this game. And I haven't really seen anywhere of buying it. This guy here sells you like black market Look goods. Look at him. Yeah, everyone's he's, weird. He's oddly charming. You know what yeah. I mean? He's like, he's not quite... Uh, what you would call charming, but it's not bad either. So as you see here, I'm five. I'm short of five Freeman dollars, but there's no like buy them now or anything. So I don't think I think microtransactions are gone from this game. I think yeah. you just buy it now and you collect the, those Freeman dollars in the thing. Oh, in in layman's terms, there was a bit of a, a, a pay-to-win formula to this oh, game, see. in which you uh, you basically things would be going faster for you if you bought those specific uh, tools. I'm just going to quickly also shout out the chat because there's loads of new people coming in. I see Iron J in the chat. Hello, Iron J. Uh, yeah, I... Infinite Light as well. Hello. Oh, sorry. No, no. <laughs> Iron J was who we were talking to uh, regarding the um, oh, microtransactions okay. and stuff. Yeah, because he, he used to play this. Oh. <laughs> Sengui says, science is doing stuff and it goes horribly wrong. That is new. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Crash Bandicoot had that as well. I don't know why that's the first one that pops into my oh, mind. Oh, but... these, these are flares I've just set off in the middle um, of my town. Oh, no! Awesome, okay. Well, they won't do anything. I've just... I don't know. Maybe it's, it's, now you can build up your own rave party. Yeah. <laughs> uh, party, party. So this is on PlayStation 4. I don't know if it's on PlayStation 5 as well, but this is the PS4 edition we're playing. This is the code we got. There's more of the things in the distance. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. There we go. 
Yeah, there we go. Now I can Thank stop you. being antisocial. Yeah, stop being so boring. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what this midday midday torrent, right? That's what this okay, place is called. Yeah. But I don't know what the sixteen is underneath. And I, maybe like there's sixteen things you can collect in it. Maybe. Oh, like six a ladder particular here. resource. That's handy. Oh. See, that's what I mean. Like some some guy's done this for me. Some yeah, that's, guy, that's very like, just Yeah, exactly. It's um. That's quite ahead of its time when you oh. think uh, when you think about it, because this game came out in 2016. Yeah. And the Australian came out in 2019. But yeah, I think it was 2019. Yeah, I think it was. There we go. What's in here? Da, 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 da. Oh, 100 Freeman dollars! Hey, that's how you get your go. dollars then. So I was only five shorts. That means I can buy some stuff from the man. Yes. Uh, uh, Iron J says, Def are going to pick this up. Enjoyed it a lot. Uh, Iron J says, it looks like there isn't a PS5 version yet. Oh, okay. let, me just, let me just double check like that said, for you. I think it's already out. I mean, we're playing it through on a PlayStation 5. Yeah, I mean, it, it I runs quite well. I don't know what a PS5 upgrade would do for this game because... I think it came out September 9th or something, but let me just uh, double check that. Because I, I did <laughs> check. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> Thank you very much, Crash. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. So, like I said, I've done about, only about three hours so far of it. Um, I'm enjoying it. I've got a little dwelling over here. I, I, I can't go into it or anything, but I've got yeah. one. I've got a big end sign. The the game has been out since uh, September 9th. No, September 6th. So you should be able to already get this game. Okay. Uh, just just wanted to make sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is out. I was like, oh no! Yeah. <laughs> we didn't check that we, one. We don't. No, we. I Ooh. did check it, uh, but I was like, but when did it come out? <laughs> so I'm gonna. <laughs> I can buy. So <laughs> I think I can buy level ups. <laughs> I just want to like poke his nose. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I can buy basically these these balls. Bourgeoisies. I don't know how to say it. I think it sounds like bourgeoisie. Yeah, they're um, level ups basically. So you get those. So I've now got one. Oh, uh, okay. That was a lot. I didn't realize. So yeah, now if I go to my menu when I've finished. Yeah, was that bourgeoisie? Did I, did oh, I read that right? Look, Crash. It's you. You've oh, leveled up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's my PlayStation yeah. avatar. <laughs> um, thank you. Yeah, why is it even Crash? I don't know. That's just what I chose like when I got a PlayStation 4. I mean, I, just, I like I'm it. Stuck with it. I, can you upload your own now? Because maybe that was the issue before. Oh, I've got a new outfit. Oh, look at that. There we go. Nice. Yeah, it, like you get all these like nice and colour colourful outfits in the game as well. I think that's the same oh, font they use in MGS5. <laughs> by the way. Oh, fi failed requests can be retired. Oh, oh no! I was meant to go to another town. I was going to do it on this stream, but it was obviously I spent too long on it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I don't know what... I want to get to my menu. What's that? Uh, maybe press the... Big, ah, yeah. there we go. Thank you. Cool. Let's go to my bourgeoisie. And you even got, like, matching shoes. Some uh, people hate that. You know that? When when people wear have, like, a red sweater and they wear red shoes. Really? And it's like, oh, it's so matching. Why would you do that? Oh, I don't mind. Okay, so yeah. I can't level up then. So I'm completely wrong. I don't know what I picked up. I've obviously picked up this outfit. I thought I picked up some more papers for him. God, this place is a mess, isn't it? Yeah, Sengui says, um, Google says bourgeoisie. Yeah, bourgeoisie. Thank you for that. Uh, so the good thing about having your villagers is that when you're on the islands, which you can see they're a bit of a distance away, and you can only carry four things at once, uh, they'll collect the resources for you. But <laughs> Buddy Game says, I wear orange tops and orange shoes all the time. Yeah, but here's the thing, Rosie. You only have orange clothing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it's like impossible oh. to not match it. Oh, shaking. Why is it shaking? For anyone that's wondering, Rosie's now behind the Body Games account, which is oh. like it's like finding a shiny Pokemon, I'd say, here in Body Games. Collect all the resources before they disappear. I'm hoping my mate did that for me because this island's now disappearing, so <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Do you like my, my red lips? <laughs> I wonder what's coming next. Like, I imagine if I was powerful enough and skilled enough, I could probably get up to that top missile up there. Yeah. And there's probably stuff in there because I can see someone's dug a hole in that one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um... Oh god, maybe that's like how they connect with like a grappling hook or yeah, something. Yeah, like I said, you, yeah. yeah, I don't know, but like this this player came in and just did so much for me. I was like, thank you, Mr. Man. What's these? <gasps> money, more money. Uh, Sangui says, fashion boutique DS learn, uh, taught me that if you were rich, if you wear red shoes, 
with a red shirt, your your pants or your trousers uh, need to be in a different color uh, to break up the colors, and it really works. Yeah, so the idea is that um, on the color spectrum, some colors are brighter than the others, and it's just how we perceive things. Great example is, you know, if you look at my green sweater over here, it's not half as bright as your yellow shirt. This is also, by the way, why when it comes to car accidents, yellow cars getting less accidents than gray cars because they blend uh, in less. So yeah, there you go. It makes sense. It uh, makes makes sense there's so, yeah. logic there there's like some colors that are more like out there and it's just the way how just light works and um if you have something like very bright and out there it's always good to kind of throw something to balance it back out so if you wear let's say if you're female and you're wearing like these very colorful leggings and whatsoever it's probably better to just wear like black shoes underneath it so that's just kind of a way how you can balance things out and that's a rule with like everything that's not just with fashion that's also with um, when you make designs for for YouTube or when you make posters or when you do I was it design your rooms it's all the same oh we got Whitby a, it's Whitby oh my goodness Whitby good to see you Hello, Whitby. body games Whitby is a, a veteran in the body uh, no in the body games uh, in the access community ah yeah uh, Rosie played a lot of games with uh with Whitby. Whitby. Whitby, in case you're wondering, uh, my name is Nico, your name is Liam. Hello! And right now, on the Body Games account is Rosie. So, uh, if you want to say hi to Rosie, now you know that she's in the chat she's as well. in the le chat. And enjoy your free follower emotes as well. What have I picked up here? I've got, I've got another shotgun. Oh, I want to drop that. How do I drop it? Ooh. Nice, colourful... Uh, Shotgun as well. I don't know what that does Everything yet. is matching. Like, look at yeah, that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think this is a special shotgun I got because I've got the Phoenix edition. Uh, is there a way to drop it? Yeah, there is. Yeah, drop. Okay, drop that one. Cool. Right, what haven't I got on me? So I've got that one, that one, that one. So I can pick up one thing, which will probably be a torch of some sort. I put it down somewhere. I don't know where I've put it. I hope I haven't left it in. Oh, there we oh. go. So that one's going now. So hopefully, very shortly, a new land will appear and then I can explore that one. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm not as big. I believe there are like 40 lands in this. Oh, okay. I've heard. I've, that, that was my third to appear. Oh, what's that over there? These, these things that... Um, oh. Infinite Light has redeemed uh, a granny impression. Hello! And, and Stu Sharp has... Ho! Oh! <laughs> Hi, granny. everyone! Oh, Why do we keep again? running into each other? Oh, I'm so fed up. I'm trying to play a game by myself <laughs> here. Have you heard of the Tomorrow Children? Oh, this looks just like the thing from Death Stranding, but oh, not gold. You, you might remember the dolls oh, from back in the day. I used to play a lot with Matroskas. <laughs> Did you? Yes. Oh, that's oh, such a weird I had one thing to play with as a young so boy. So what I do is I build myself, and then I build a bigger one <laughs> of myself over it. And the hole, they just get, keep getting bigger and bigger. So every year, I build a new one. <laughs> And so, that's how you were born. Yes. <laughs> one of them looked like a Bond villain, because I was a Bond villain once. Did you know oh, that? Oh, so you do it in all oh. your characters. Yes, I do. Oh, that makes, that oh, makes yes, perfect I do. sense. <laughs> Why not? In fact, um, this one of Nico guy, he drew them for me, too. <laughs> He's going to put them on, on Twitter.com soon. <laughs> Twitter.com? <laughs> oh, yes. You have to put the dot .com. That shows your age. Oh, yes. Oh. Something going on? No. Oh, uh, and uh, oh goodness, it's still active. Chuck out a reader for a thousand channel points. What's to hear Liam say? Yes. <laughs> yes, there you there go. There we go. I'm what, looking forward to uh, There's oh. going to be people are going to make compilations of that in like five years time. Yes. And then your your first one is, oh, we got a yes as well from, uh, Chuck, uh no, no one. From no one, I, did, did, I think Rosie did might Rosie, have done it. I didn't hear that one. I think Rosie might no, have done it. No, that was me that just said it again. No, 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 it, it definitely popped up. Oh, did I say uh, exactly the same time? <laughs> Jay Olivia says, not the yes <laughs> again. Well, uh, they're, they're I, more expensive these days, so. I can confirm, I, can't, I don't know when yet, but I can confirm Rosie is chasing after um, the upload for the the recipe for the for the re Skyrim recipes yeah. that we cooked. Um, so and probably, if, if we're lucky, maybe next week. But I also know that Rosie has a very busy week ahead of her. So uh, it could be that it's a little bit later. But yes, we are very excited to upload it to, to the world of YouTube yeah. and see what people think of it's it. It's the same with our actual stream as well. Uh, you, basically, all the Skyrim videos have been... Oh, stop talking. I'm not talking to you. I don't want to talk to you. All the Skyrim videos are stuck in processing hell right now on YouTube. They're all in 30... Uh, 
3060, what's the thing? 3060p? 360p? Oh, 360p, yeah. Uh, they're all stuck in that, and they won't seem to get a HD, so I'm re-uploading them again now, so that's Ugh. where they are from our VOD channel as well. Yeah, that's um, the, the con when you have a 12-hour stream. It's, like, it's not really a good way to, um, well, to, to yeah, archive it. First of all, it wouldn't even let me upload it because it was longer than 12 hours. So I'd split <laughs> it to four episodes, four, four like, two-hour stream, two-and-a-half-hour streams, whatever. Oh, I don't know the maths, but yeah. And um, I'm waiting for another island to appear, by the way. That's what I'm just dossing around for. I, don't I mean, mean, Rosie, you don't really have to apologize because, um, what is it? As, as people have known in the chat here, you were up till like 1130 um what is it to do um the state of play that happened last week and i'm pretty sure you came home at like one o'clock in the night so uh, if that is no indication that you've been very busy then i don't know what is so just partying no it was a party nico a7x oh, yeah it was an after party yeah you've been partying all night yeah. you have no excuse <laughs> exactly <laughs> or resident store a7 excuse uh excuse <laughs> x scott has redeemed a crash bandy good noise and i think i will take the honor for that um, no I'm gonna not. do the uh, Papa Papa when he gets hit and he goes like, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was like very that. good. That's a really good impression. <laughs> very good. Oh, I hear something. Do I hear something? Oh, no. there's no one. It's coming. a bit of like the it's universal the globe missing. behind. Uh, <laughs> well, oh, behind that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it looks just like that. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what I need to be doing at this point. I built everything I can build. Is there maybe something on the on the television? I think it's just. Oh, that's just like tutorial. tutorial. Stuff. Well, it could be useful. Town defense. The great Irvig attack looms over all towns. Citizens must use all available weapons to fight back. Oh, well, I've got lots of shotguns. So, and restoring humanity, each town's population goal. Brendan is giving that clap oh. emotes for us. Maybe I could build another um, another house. Our house in the middle yeah. of the void. It's a yeah. I'm going to build another domicile. <laughs> and you have to do these annoying puzzles as well. And I suck at these. For people that love oh, these puzzles, I love these. Uh, what, it's your scent. It? Yeah, that's can what you, that's what you got to do. I okay. hate them. I hate these uh, so much. Can you know what? Can we give a challenge? Well, let's let's make this. Oh goodness. Okay, that's the controls. Can we do a challenge with this? You have time limit, by the way. Oh okay. Uh, What's the challenge? No, that changes everything because oh, okay. I got a time limit. <laughs> yeah, you actually got a time limit. I don't know how long the time limit is. Sounds like Soviet World War II music. I think that's the general theme of uh, yeah. what they're going with on this one. I think, like uh, Nico's saying, it's uh, Soviet scientists basically destroyed the world on this one. And they've, they're have they trying to rebuild it now. And you're in this weird void. So, yeah, I think it's one of those games you just chill out to. But it's also really dark and dingy. And it's just like, it's uh, it's a weird it's a weird take. I hate sliding puzzles. Chocolate Brie Dam, right there with you. I think once you know the technique, it's probably quite easy, but... What's the G? Is that's that's, six. Not, that's, that's six. Oh, six. Yeah. <laughs> it, no, it looks like a G, but... Uh. <gasps> What's that? I think an island's appearing. Nice. I think there's an island appearing, everyone. We'll have a look at that after this. Oh, this is looking good, though. Quick, I spent ages on these. It's like, uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Thank you very much. Very <laughs> easy. You've written one, two, three, four, five, G, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> it is a G. I'm completely with you. You've got a quarter of your time left, Nico. <sighs> you have to do this for everything you build, by the way, in the game. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, that's close. No cigar. Almost time, almost time. Um, Ash oh, my are here. oh my goodness, oh my goodness, so close. Are you going to do it in the last bit? Oh, I'm stressing, no, the yeah. controls are so weird. Uh, oh no, that was it, that was it. You were so close. No! <laughs> no! He is so close. I was so close. Come on, I'm going to oh. do it now, like straight away, because I'm a pro. Oh no. Goodness me, I was so proud of that. <laughs> Uh, we have very Ash well. are, are here as well. Ash Hello, are Ash. Here. Hope you're doing well. Ash are here. Pretend you're going in. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Rosie. Was that Rosie that put that up? It was She's Rosie, She's so mean, yeah. isn't she? She's meant to support you in everything you do. <laughs> She's following her behind the computer going, <laughs> right now. Is that her laugh? Yeah. She has a, when she thinks she is, like, you know, dad joke funny, she always goes, <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure. <laughs> So you had that laugh when uh, we had the dad jokes, Dino Crisis. And there was like a... 
Lulium. <laughs> is that Rosie that's done no, that? No, that is Rosie. Rosie, would you like me to, to handle the torch for I you? I hate all of it. I hate everyone here. <laughs> so close. So when, close. Uh, yeah, you're super close. When Rosie and I started dating, um, Liam, yeah, yeah, push that down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now all to the left. Whoa! Yeah. You like did I said, it. you have to do it. Oh, perfect timing. Chocobo Reader with the gift sub. To Thank you so much, Chocobo Reader. That's perfect timing. You are going in the Book of Eternity. I don't. Oh, there is a new island. There it is. Ooh. Oh, and you can see the you can see the the thing now. The um the, the Godzilla thing looming in. Uh, sorry, it's just through here. Look through. There it is through the middle. Oh yeah, you're yeah. right. I think that attacks you eventually. I think you need to defend the town. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll quickly finish my story. Yeah. So uh, when Rosie and I started dating, uh, Liam uh, met me as well. And uh, what he didn't know is that I also make noises. So <laughs> when I started making the same noises as Rosie was uh, doing, he was like, oh, God, now there's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember that comment quite fondly. Um, one thing I do actually love about this game is how the things are spawned in. That's how the... That's how the um, the islands appear anyway. They just kind of absorb <laughs> out. Sorry. Yeah, it's a little person. Like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> it's a new hope for you, weirdo. Um, yeah, Whitby. Um, show us what what your favourite new emote is. Now that you're a sub. So I have. I'm, I can now have I up mean, to twenty people from us, of course. You can have a favourite outside of Buddy. No, games. it has to. Be, we have to be your favourite now. There's <laughs> yeah, no going back. It must be us. Right. Let's go and explore this new island. Bit of a, like a Lego tree, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like this. The, yeah. the ones that are like have the, the flat texture to it them. It is. It's weird. It, they've got like a a Playmobil, like it's like plasticine uh, style. It's like everything's being crafted in like without a Play-Doh. Yeah, everything is crafted with a knife yeah. or something. Uh, Whitby uh, is posting the dog emote, the themed emote that we have. For, yes. Uh, so, Woof. The, so the idea is that with all of our streams, every time we have our Wednesday, which is our main slot, and our Sundays, which is our one-off slot. And on our one-off slots, we just, you know, we play with whatever we fancy. And on our Wednesday slot, we, we stream a particular game until we've beaten it. And we kind of go for this format of a modern game, retro game, modern game, and then just keep going like that. And um, right now, we're going through A Dog's Life, which is a retro game. And then after this one, we're going back into a modern game again. Yes. And uh, we already have it scheduled. I'm looking very forward to it. But Ooh, uh, I'm not sure if we're, we're, getting, we're close to the ending of... A dog's life, yeah. I think we're all like halfway through now. I don't think it's a very long game, and we, you know, we don't have to get every bone. Yeah. Do we? You know. It's what's fun, for those who don't know oh, about is. a dog's uh, a dog's life. A dog's life is literally Untitled Goose Game. I it, think it I, is. I, yeah. I I don't remember who said it. I'm really sorry, but I do remember one person in the chat saying it. Feel free to take the credit for whoever said that. Um, but uh, when that comparison was made, it was like indistinguishable. Like no one was able to let go of that mm. at that point. It was yeah, pretty perfect. I've got four now. So it's, sun, it's sunrise, Ooh. everyone. Sangui got back with some food. Yeah, what did you get? I'm really hungry. I want some food. What are you mood for? We have yeah. some uh, some steak. Uh, oh, uh, was it? Like you can put all sandwiches at oh, home. That sounds nice. Would you like some? Don't know. Rosie, you make Liam a steak sandwich. Steak? I've got some really nice bread. I've already had <laughs> one, though. I don't think I can have another one. Okay. Uh, that isn't what I wanted. Uh, I one. always make food for you guys. So, I know, uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, these islands appear, <laughs> like just like Animal Crossing, the islands appear, you go to the island, you get all the resources you possibly can before the island sinks. Every single island has those dolls on it, and once you've got those dolls, then the island is considered complete. So, there were, like that last one, that head had like 15 dolls in it, this one might only have one or two. Yeah. But that's how you get new villagers, but you also get people contributing in real life, other players just join in. Like so, you can't communicate with them, you can see them run around a little bit, but not fully, they kind of like warp in and out of their actions. Yeah. And I won't lie, I found the clone quite cute. What, her? Yeah, she has quite a cute design to yeah. her, I will say. She's got I, like, nice puffy cheeks yeah. as well. I do like the, the plasticine kind of, like like it's been made out of like plastic. Yeah. I do like that look. It's it's a really unique looking game. I'll give them that. They've, they've, they've <laughs> oh, <just> no. stylized it. <laughs> Roti found the poll button. She says, shall I give Liam a beef sandwich? <laughs> Rosie. He, Rosie, he just said he wasn't hungry. Rosie. I mean, you did say you were hungry, but not really... You know, I don't think sandwich hungry. I think maybe like a Mars bar hungry. Yeah. yeah. Rosie, can you get me some chocolate, please? <laughs> Thank you. Uh. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's a that's a challenge. 
D Danny uh, uh, has basically uh, um, uh, some bit of food, and it's in Dutch. And I'm like, oh god, that's a good one. Um, yeah, he's basically got like um, just a bun, like a like a, a, a wheat bun. Yeah. And he's cut that open. He's put some kind of like sausage paste over it, essentially. Okay. Yeah. So I think of it like um, a bit like salami esque, but more paste side. Right. And then he put that over his uh, bun. Not inside his bun, not over the bun. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope it's delicious. It, yeah, apparently, yeah. Is it called server latte? I think that's like, that sounds like wishful thinking. Server latte? Yeah, that's like, uh, you know, when you have a, um, like, but that's not really a good example. Um, but like when you have like a, a Spanish or a French word and you think it's like, um, I say it in English or something like yeah, bonjour. Yeah. You wouldn't say bon, bonjour. You know no, what no, I mean? No, yeah, that's, yeah, that's our English. Como says. estas? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff. Servo latte. Yeah, servo latte. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, apparently, it's an English word. Yeah, but I've had it before with um, what is it with uh, Google Translate that they they kind of take this weird liber liber liberty route of English. I'm loving all these people helping me. You'll see them kind of warp in and out, so you can only really see their actions. You can't see them running back and forth. You'll see them pick up the woods, and then you'll see them disappear. I believe you can call a bun a bat as well, can you? Yeah, we here? call them bats. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a, a, um, a Midlands term. Like, you know, when you go more up, like, <sighs> Birmingham is not really Midlands, but when you go more up north, Okay. I think uh, you can say bat. Well, we call them bat here anyway. We go yeah, to your local I, shop sorry, it's and more like called the, the origin of the word. Oh, I, I see, believe. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I know these things. I don't know why you know these things <laughs> yeah. either. I think it's because um, when people um, talk about like English accents, they only think of you know Oxford English. Yeah. Uh, and uh, oh, there's so much more it. to it. There's actually like a lot of accents with so many words that you might have never heard of, but there isn't really any coverage of it. Uh, but I'm getting more keen on like hearing accents. I'm like, oh, I think that's from there. I think that person is from there. Tom Scott did a video. Uh, oh no way! Quite a while ago. Yeah, he always makes videos. Uh, no, no, it's not that. It's more like you know, if Tom Scott makes videos. You yeah. know, it's well, good. he was talking about how weird England is compared to other countries, and mm -hmm. um, in how different different counties um, have words for things, and they don't ever leave their counties. And he used the song, you know, the Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, no, you know, like Batman Smells, Batman Smells, Robin yeah. Laid an Egg, that one there, that song, you know, the from Jingle Bells? Yeah. But yeah, like, no, depending on which part of the country you're in, you'll hear a different version of that song. Oh, no Whereas way. Whereas in, like, America, it's the same all over. Everyone has the same song, they all sing the same song. But in England, it's just like, you go, like, 20 miles in a different direction, and you'll hear a completely different version of that song that everyone in that area knows that version. And then, oh. then yeah, it's really weird. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, I also want to point out Simon does it. Shout out to Birmingham. Uh, Simon, you can have this one for free. But Brummy. if you start if you start your own channel, you're allowed to call it Brummy Games. <laughs> Brummy Games. You can allow to call it Brummy Games. <laughs> we will not sue. <laughs> oh, there's another thing over there. Let's get the other. <laughs> I will sue. No, except for Liam. I will not sue though. Um, Make sure that Liam doesn't see it. <laughs> I will sue. I'm, I'm all about the money here. I, I, I haven't denied that. <laughs> He's all never denied about, it, I suppose. All I care about is the money. Um, I want the rich and fame. Yes. And, uh, you know, speaking of, um, of, the, of, you know, of our locations and stuff. So, um, for the, the Buddy Bunker, we're actually going through... Uh, <laughs> Simon. I just saw Simon Dash, yeah. <laughs> Go bow yeah. back in the <laughs> Can't punch. handle my lawyers. <laughs> no, I, no, I definitely can't. I'm but, gonna uh, keep that apple for myself. But yeah, we're, we're going to go uh, soon. As I say soon, probably like in the next few months. You want to renovate this space. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because so, I'm no longer working from home. So there's absolutely yeah. no need to have a working from home desk anymore. So I am, I am, we're, we're changing things up. We're yes. very excited for it. Well, I'm very excited for it. Yeah, because right now, the, what the room is, is uh, it's got this L-shaped desk to it. So we're sitting in front of a desk in this hall. <laughs> oh, it's smashed. Oh, no. I got, oh, I've gone different color now. Oh, blue. I didn't mean to kick it. I was meant to pick it. Oh, you, these things are getting very close. Oh, my goodness. Whoever has played Demon Souls now knows you should run. They're getting very close to my... T they've never been this close before. I've never seen one up close. <laughs> they look like the rays. Oh, the oh my goodness. Hello. I am the 
bread demon the chat house where did she just, come from she'll give you bread <laughs> thank you and the bread demon scurried away <laughs> Thank you. I think you also caused devastation to my town as well, because these things just attacked. The bread demon only supplies bread when just those a crappy bread. bit of bread. You <laughs> Thank said you weren't very hungry, but you still get bread. Thank you. Th thanks. Uh, what was your name again, madam? The bread demon. The bread demon. Yeah. The bread demon brought some bread. And uh, would you like anything to say, Brett Demon, before you go? If you want any bread, let me know, and I'll be there in a jiffy. <laughs> Thank Every you, Brett Demon. <laughs> wow. Well, that was the bread demon, everyone. <laughs> that was the bread demon. No, that no, wasn't Rosie. Rosie's behind the Body Games account. <laughs> yeah. Um, these things are attacking my town, by the way. Oh, goodness. I told you. It's, it's, it's a boss from Demon's Souls. What's mm. the name of it, chat? I mean, like, I'm pretty sure it is. I can't believe I broke that doll. I'm really angry at myself. <laughs> uh, Chibi Korok is here as well. Hello, Chibi Korok. Um, Chibi, we got uh, Splatoon 3 in the end. Um, and we are really enjoying it. Um, it's good to be back. We, it's good we skipped to be Splatoon back. 2. Um, I was always like, I'm not sure if I want to dive back into it. And then it was too late for it. So when Splatoon 3 was announced, I was like, okay, not missing the boat on this one. So uh, we've been, Rosie and I have been thoroughly enjoying that one. Uh, okay, I'm back to my normal Storm color. King, thank you, Demos Clay, which is an awesome boss, by the way. One of the best ones in the game, if you ask me. Come on, minions. Do my work. Uh, TV Korok says, oh, I'm glad I'm enjoying it. It's great. Yeah, it's it's really good. We really like, uh, we probably sound like plebs, but we really like the uh, the roller. That's so far our favorite one. I've never played it, so I don't know anything about it. Yeah. It's, apart uh, from I'll the, explain, the trailers. I, I do know it. It's basically paintballing and that. Yeah, I'll explain it to you, um, what is it, once you see it, because it's kind of not worth going for like a two-minute tutorial whilst we're playing this game. I've got a lot to learn with this one. Um, Rosie said... Um, sorry, I was just making a cup of tea. What did I miss? Ro Rosie, you missed the bread demon. The bread demon. We've never met the bread demon. Very scary. It was terrifying. The yeah. scariest I've ever seen it. I can't believe you just have a random bread demon in your house. I didn't Liam. know about it until now. But <laughs> that explains why I love bread so much. I have to. Otherwise, the bread demon gets me. <laughs> I do love bread's my favorite food, by the way. Just you know, I know it sounds weird, but I adore bread. No, it's not. It's uh, I I know I know people that love bread so much that they just eat bread. I've, yeah, I eat just bread without anything in it. Yeah, but like when you have a fresh bread that's so good mm. that you can just have a slice and that's it. Yep. And it's not I'm like an extra sweetened bread or something. No, nope, just normal bread. Yeah. I, I quite often go to Sainsbury's and just buy a bread roll for my lunch. Nothing nice. in it. The most boring thing in the world. I love it. Well, that that's the trick with you, right? Like. Um, People always overthink it when it comes to making dinners or yeah. uh, food for you. And it's like, no, Liam is as bulk as can be, I'm but simple. that's okay. That's more than fine. All I care about is simple food. I have no interest in food. That's that's the thing. My, it's weird because my dad is absolutely, well, my, my whole family, and as well as other people, obsessed with food. They want the nicest flavors. They want the juiciest things. No, nope, I have whatever. Basic and boring. The less flavor, the better. <laughs> Narena says, did anyone say bread demon in the mirror three times? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Jay Olivia says, I did, and I got an instant gluten intolerance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. There's a, there was a really funny... I watched the... Basic, right, if anyone knows this or not, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but my favorite Pixar movie is Cars. I don't know why, can't explain it, but it is. I absolutely adore Cars. So I watched the Cars on the Roads, the new disney plus show and there was one bit they were doing like a bit of a the shining kind of a spoof in a haunted mansion and it was a really funny bit that made me laugh anyway where instead of saying murder it said race but then it said race backwards so in the mirror it just said race and then race backwards again <laughs> and he was just like what and it made <laughs> me laugh so much and that's the end of my story <laughs> so this place is pretty much done i don't know yeah. what the three is though there they, might be something for me to actually the the stones look like um Rap. Oh, a friend. Uh, um, yeah, this is one of my... Uh, I think that... Yeah, that's actually a real player, I think. Yeah. Um, because... Daria. Yeah, because this is an NPC. They just wander around and do <laughs> nothing. <laughs> the pieces are great. No, but they look like uh, Easter eggs in Rapper. Mm. Yeah, they do. Yeah, don't yeah. they? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm working together with someone right now called... D I don't know what you... I didn't catch your name. Whatever. Daria. Daria. Which sounds a whole lot like Karaya oh, in my head. So diarrhea. I'm like, mm. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. 
It's only like a um, few letters removed. And we're, we're trying to... Oh, God. Dare I say it? We're rebuilding Chachi Hakkad. Uh, no, is that what we're rebuilding? Or is that the is that the, the demon? Where's it gone? I've lost no, it now. No, it's because it says 346 out of 700. Oh, no, that's, that might be the, the, the land you're in. No, this land is called something else. I saw the, the land has a oh. name. See, I think that's the demon. I think that's that big Godzilla thing. I think once that reaches max, the Godzilla attacks. Chocobo Brina says, luckily, uh, Kirai is not here today. Well, that's the thing, because maybe they might be playing. <laughs> yeah, could be. You can't Kirai might be, like, playing. the biggest fan. And when, like, knew I was pl we were playing this, and they went, yeah, I'm, I'm in. I'm all in. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not quite, because I don't want to reveal yeah. my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe Choc uh, maybe Kariah was uh, already taken. So they, uh, that's, that's just the closest they can get to it. Or maybe Kariah's just a Twitch name. In real life, it's Dariah. If there's a way that we can get, like, the buddies involved with this game, I, I would love to try yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know how. You can travel to other worlds, and you have friend codes. So it's it might be possible friend yeah. codes in this game. Yeah, like Animal Crossing. It's not my actual PlayStation profile. Because it, it's obvious that a buddy game we do like a, a good building game, like Dragon Quest I Builders. I love building games. Yeah. Um, this is a... This is a if, I don't know. There isn't much to build in this one. I don't know if I get to unlock more, but right now I've only got like four or five things to build. So I'm hoping there's more I can build later. Up, getting all the resources basically so what we're going to do as well we're going to travel to some other lands to see there might be some players that have been playing this a lot longer know exactly what they're doing and have just made the most beautiful creation so I'm getting a phone call oh, i'm sinking oh no get out the mud get out the void <laughs> note right. self don't answer phone yeah. calls in the void <laughs> yeah that's a good philosophy for life <laughs> yeah right there we go i can take that one with me um what's also worth mentioning is that liam recently uh, for those who haven't watched our uh, Tallneck video, understandable, it's like five hours long. It's a long one. But uh, Rosie and Liam built a Lego Tallneck uh, from start to finish oh, on stream. And uh, Liam thought, hey, you know, it might be cool to make a time lapse for that. Yeah. So if you go to, I think, yeah, it's our VOD channel. Uh, yeah. yeah, let's yes. see. It's Follow here. me and then VOD. There we go. Boop. It's in. There you go. If you go to our VOD channel, you can watch a, a time-lapse version of the stream, in case you're curious. Yeah, five hours to five minutes. Yeah, boom. What a so, catchy yeah. title, by the way. I well know, done. right? I'm, I'm a media sensation yeah. <laughs> taking this with me. I, mean, I want to get to this thing. Liam is open for uh, commissions yeah. if you need I'll a, get, a YouTube I'll, title. I'll get your YouTube titles done. <laughs> you won't believe what happened next. Gone sexual. Tall neck that's, Lego that's building. That's like the old... Uh, the old and yeah, gone sexual base. is gone. Yeah, that's the... What what is it these days? What would you say? What uh, what it is these days? It's kind of like something happened but didn't actually happen. Like, um, I got punched by the store yeah. clerk, and like nothing actually. No one got punched. No one. I got found attacked. Santa Claus. Or yeah. Something. Or it's... then then they show like a, a screenshot of Discord of a guy going, "I found Santa Claus," and yeah. the other guy's like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I want to get up. There's actually nothing up there, but I want to get up there anyway. <laughs> Uh, Archduke says, did you do better than Ash and Rob with the tall neck? Uh, I don't I mean, know how well they did. Yeah, well, that, that, I don't know. I don't know how well they did, unfortunately. Well, we built it from start to finish yeah. in five hours. So. I watched the, the little short they did, the, their time lapse, which was beautifully done. That's, mm -hmm. that's the expert mode compared to my mode, because that was done really well. There was no hands in it. You just saw the Lego building up. Really well done. Um, oh, bye, ladder. Let's um, see what Lee said about you. <laughs> Where's Lee today? Second to last. Oh, ah, so Buddy Games title could be Liam doesn't want fame and fortune. Yeah. Because I, it's a lie. Yeah, exactly that. Perfect. <laughs> That's all I want. <laughs> right, I've got someone in my town now, so hopefully I can build the uh, the friendship shop or whatever it's called. I can even blow my whistle. I don't mean to. Um, no, resident store. You must have one resident in order to craft this. Oh. I thought we had... Uh, but maybe you need to bring that... You need to wait until the doll's finished. Yeah, no, I've done loads of dolls. I've done. I've been doing them all no, the way along. No, you have that doll over there, right? Yeah. Is there maybe a way we can speed up that process? No, that's it. Well, it's almost there, though, yeah. luckily. But I've done that loads of times, 100 times. No, these these are the people I've made. Um, well, maybe they don't have a house yet? No, they've got houses. Okay, do they have electricity in those houses? Yeah, yeah. Are those facilitated then? Yeah, it'll just... Give me, yeah, this is my generator, which someone's working on. Thank you. Oh, she's on the generator. So maybe she is an NPC. That can't, Maybe that isn't a real person. A, a real person wouldn't be doing this, would they? Maybe. Maybe they just really want to Maybe they're on the phone or something. Maybe they're just like... They're just like... Cooking. Oh, you can use it now. 
Yeah, yeah I think it's just me doing it. So, uh, oh, we need to stay in the bar. Oh wow, so this might be a real person because it's actually a mini game. Yeah. Well, maybe this is what you need. Oh, it's like the bloody fishing mini game in Stardew Valley. I hate that game. If the power runs out, so I've generated 3.8. So we've got 88 energy units right now. Okay, that's good. Um, because they put all my stuff away, all the stuff I chucked. Hmm. So hmm. I don't know. I don't really know. But yeah. Yeah, but it seems that we really oh, want to get a phone call. I need a new record population of 10, okay? Yeah, which I'm working on. Oh, okay, so you're going to get stamps, and I bet you can give those to people and be like, hey, you want to be a citizen of my town? Ah, maybe they're not citizens yet. Yeah, so you need to get these stamps somewhere. But he said he's going to send them soon, so I don't yeah, know when you're going to get them. they'll come through here, I imagine. I'll go and talk to the... Uh, these guys are watching me all the time. This is the... Uh, What's it called? The the mayor or... Uh, no, it's, it's the Ministry of Work or something like that. I see. Um, uh, Arch just said that music. Yeah, the music is really good in this game. It's very eerie. Uh, it's a bit, like, unsettling, but still quite melodic. 35 coupons, 10 praises now available, 3 snubs now available. Do I have to talk to people? <gasps> yeah, I can level up. Nice. So this is what I'm about to level up. So what should I do next then? Um, improve projection, clone, neurotransmitters, boost skill and perception. Work faster, work smarter. See the That's true nature of, of the matter. That seems good. Um, direct neural programming to enhance, allow you to dig deeper and fight harder. Oh, that might be good. Uh, toil to coupon conversion gives tool kiosk discounts. Who's that girl? Such a hard worker. I've done agility and strength. Good. Um, every point increases the range. Oh, no, I don't care about that. I'm, I think that one might be. No, which one was it? Uh, yeah. Dexterity is where my vote goes to. But you seem no, to no. have might uh, quite interested in for fighting. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to do them all by one. We haven't had a fight yet. So. No, I have. There are these little things. And obviously that thing is it's forever in the background. Just freaking terrifying uh, I bet, me. I bet that's going to come closer and closer mm. once it's there. It's I, there. I think that's what it is. This bar at the top. And I think once that reaches the top, uh, it's going to attack. Yeah. So let's see if I can talk to some residents then. See if I can like bring them in. <laughs> Just unloaded my apples on you. Sorry, <laughs> I do apologize. Very rude. Do you like apples, madam? <laughs> oh, it's so weird. It's creepy. Maybe you can fight it if you walk mm. up to like it. I can't go up close. You start sinking. Okay. Let's yeah. not go up close to it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's getting closer to me, though. It definitely does. Ooh. Oh, freaky. Freaky. I don't like things in the background. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, you're Arena. You're doing something. You are a player. I'm sure of it. You just put eye stuff on. That wouldn't be an NPC. Oh, and here you can get, like, extra items to uh, yeah. be a bit stronger. I could buy the grappling hook. Hell's bells, yeah. <laughs> uh, buddy Game says, please say hello to the scary monster in the distance, Liam. Me? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hello, Liam. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, no. uh, hello. I'm over here, Liam. I'm coming. Hello. I'm not getting in on this. I'm not getting in on this. <laughs> I see how far I can get. I can, yeah, no, it's here. So he says, it's the Sphinx. This is the edge. I'm sinking already. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rosie. Ah, oh, this bloody Sphinx. How old do I look? Really old. <laughs> Stop asking. How old do I look? Old, You're so older old. than the last time you asked. <laughs> right, what do I do here then? What? Such beautiful weather. Is it? Is this a nice day? Oh, there it is. That was one thing I really had to get used to when I moved to the UK. It's just, uh, what is it? That the sky is just so white. Like, yeah. It's not, like, obviously everyone has the trope of, like, that England has bad weather. And to an extent, we do. But, you know, in the Netherlands, when I was living there, it wasn't that much great, greater either. But the big difference was just the, the color of the sky. We, did, we just didn't have, like, fully white skies. At least over here you do. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and that was a bit like, whoa, that's gloomy. This guy, I think I talked to him earlier. 
Ti i Yuki. Bez tog utku da pojeti daleko. So aggressive. Yeah, I, just, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> oh, the thing's gone again. I'm going to have to do the mini game. <laughs> Which thing? The the thing that transports, that makes the people. Well, maybe they're, you, you keep making them now and then a boop, they just pop up. No, you got to put it on the transporter thing or whatever it's called. Uh, this thing, the rescue pad. Okay. But uh, you can only, it obviously has a certain amount of uses before it breaks. Oh, yeah, after five uses is what it says over oh, here. Oh, five, is it? Oh, this yeah. one's an easy one. I like this one. I can actually do this one quite with ease. Uh, you're almost there. Do, 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 do. Oh. There you go. Yeah, that, that's the easiest one. Um, don't know what she says, but I hope it's kind. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Rich Medical One says, as uh, someone being from the UK, I sometimes forget that there are places in the world that have blue skies and sunshine often. <laughs> Yeah, we had a very nice summer this year. Obviously, yeah. we had a, the hottest weather we've ever had. Uh, a town without a town hall will never have my approval. Do you understand? Okay, so I need to build a town hall while lots of things. But first of all, let's build this because I need to get my pick that up again, and we'll build this. And construct. Yep, done. Okay, so now can I build a town hall? Can't see one. So how do you build a town hall then? Uh, maybe you need to buy all the uh, to build the other things first yeah, before I, you can. Yeah, that I've already built one. If L and R yeah, they got... just take you to different oh, things. Okay. Yeah, so a very short list. Like well, obviously there are hmm. more you can get, but I've got that. I've got that, and I've got that, and I've got that. I've got that. That's the only thing I haven't got is the res. Oh, and the police booth. I need resources for that. Oh, we're well, probably good to, to build that one next. Then oh, yeah. Oh, turrets. You can build turrets. So what's that one? I need 21 of those square, square things. Thingies, I don't know what yeah. a square thingy is. Oh, apples. 21 apples. We can do that. Yeah, we can totally well, do not, that. We need to wait until the uh, island. Server Egg. Hello. Welcome to Buddy Games. Hello, Server Egg. We're playing the Tomorrow Children, which is uh, a code that was provided to us from Q Games. Thank you so much for that, Q Games. Yes. And uh, it was initially a PlayStation 4 exclusive, and then it went away for a bit. And now it's back on PS4 and PS5 as the Phoenix Edition. And uh, we're just here to show you a bit of it. It's not sponsored. We're just doing it for fun. Yeah. They didn't even ask us to play it on no. on a live. They just thought we might and, enjoy it, which is very nice of them. Yeah. And again, obviously, thank you so much for everyone for making this possible because uh, without any retention of people, <laughs> yeah, nobody yeah. would give you a code. So if you guys all suddenly just vanished and said, I'm going to do something else, <laughs> then uh, this wouldn't have not been possible. Got a new person. Oh, yeah, you do. Look at that. Can I, can I talk? No, no, no. No. Maybe they're all like, oh, there's nothing to do here. Oh, I've got the grappling hook. I can oh, they're over there now. Yeah, the they just warp. I don't understand. <laughs> the Saiyans, watch out. Stu Sharp says, hydrate. Hydrate. I will do in, in one second. I'm just going to uh, figure out how I can get up to the... Oh, I need to get more apples, don't I? So this yeah. is my way of doing it. But I need to figure out how to get up there. Can I go this way? This way? This way? This way? <laughs> Crash Bandicoot one says, "If I say Brett Demon three times, we will all disappear." Oh, Be you careful. can't. You can't grapple. Um, you can just pick up stuff that's up high. Oh, Rosie is uh, is hyping people up. Uh, for... Rosie says, "Are you excited for?" Oh, oh, do we have like a distortion filter? I, don't uh, know. I think I'm there just, is. I'm one. just gonna just gonna put it on 18. See what happens. Hello. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, that's not really good. Nothing. I did absolutely nothing. Hello. Hello. Did They're it, all broken. No, it shouldn't be. Hello. That was distortion. <laughs> that was distortion. Yeah, I want something up. Yeah. Um, maybe. Like a, yeah, that one. Are you excited for the month of spooks? So spooky. Games. Yeah. Didn't wow. Really... <laughs> I was hoping for like a <laughs> effect. The month of spooks. <laughs> so much better. Oh, oh, oh. Duh. The month of spooks on the buddy games. Hope you're excited for it. Yes. That's a weird one, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, what was it? Five. Five yeah, is five, one. Five is the most. Hello, Liam. Hello, Liam. Hello. Hello. 
Anyway. Anyways, uh, month of spooks. Yeah, it's happening. So, yeah, it's happening. Uh, after a dog's life, we have uh, a couple of... <laughs> we have a couple of... <laughs> just, you know, like a kid, just, you know, trying to ignore it and focus, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, a lantern. And... <laughs> and um, what we're going to do is we're going to play obviously a couple of spooky games. Uh, but what I, what I always like to do with spooky games is to kind of like build up to it. So you kind of just start off great with like this gothic horror, these kind of kind, <laughs> almost like childlike story versions of, of horror. And then you kind of just build up over time until you get to yep. a real spooky game. So that's what we did last year, kind of with uh, Resident Evil 2. No, with I Alien Isolation, because that was a really scary game at the end. That was. Uh, I'm not going to reveal what it's going to look like yet, but we've, we've, we've dotted it all okay. out. And okay. uh, the first game we're going to start, which is like, again, like the child-like kind of story is 40 Winks. Because it's all about, you know, nights and sleepiness. And it has a bit of like a slight horror theme, theme to it. Yep. Uh, but it's not spooky at all. So it kind of hits home that th uh, theme we're going for. Exactly. And uh, we're, I'm looking and forward to it. I haven't played it in ages as well. So I played it when I was a kid. I was a lot. And obviously, we've revealed this already uh, in the past. We are also going to do a one-off on Medieval 2. Uh, we also, obviously, after uh, Dog's Life, we have a game planned uh, after that. That's going to be a horror game. Um, but that's all I will say for now. And, uh, yeah, we've got we've got most of the work already um, done and out for you all. So I'm extremely excited the for it. The month of horror. Yeah, the month. <laughs> the month of spooks. I want to see Liam suffer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that, everyone. <sighs> Rosie. <laughs> Thank you, Rosie. So kind. All the time. Funny game! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just the, the polls got me. <laughs> um, oh, the Chocobo Breeder says, I want to do a spooky granny. Uh, which I really enjoy. I think having... A uh, spooky granny? I think having a, uh, what is it, a vampire walking and a spooky granny would be great. <laughs> Which is as terrifying like, as it is. And then, what is it? Christopher Walken will just do a Dracula impression instead. For oh. a month. I just... Hang on. I've just got rid of some... No, I haven't. No, we're good. Uh, I don't know what to do. And we need to wait for the, the residence tickets to come in, yeah, right? they haven't come through. Let's talk to the... The world of shock. Oh, okay. All right. Let's talk to this person again. Oh, the, the thing. Yeah, I feel like they're, they're trying to guide you a little bit. Coupons received. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, no, I've already got loads of them. I've got 59 of them, but I don't know what to do with those coupons. Um, Maybe you can give them to someone? Yeah, that's what I was having a look for. Hmm. But... <laughs> erecting... All right, town made it live can be raised by erecting a town hall, but I don't know how to do the town hall. Um, Russian coupons are exchanged at tool kiosks for the tools required for day-to-day -to -day labor. Yeah. And an expansion. Citizens should be used bus to travel to islands. The void becomes unstable unless from towns and islands um, top citizens will sink into it. Maybe that's why I'm losing people. Um, mind your face. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No, I have no idea. Hmm. So, yeah. But I think what we'll try then, because I don't really know what I'm doing, it's just going to be uh, me wandering around like a mad person. I'm going to see if I can explore someone else's world. Well, you also have the, the police station. That, yeah, um, I need apples, though, and there's no more there. I can't get up to that last tree. Maybe that person can help you out. Maybe this is indeed where the, the a collaborative effort comes in. Yeah, yeah. Could and, be. And people are trying to help you we out. We need 23, so we need two more apples if that's the case. Last <laughs> point, actually. I haven't dug in these. Oh, someone else has done it Sen for me. Sengui. Count Walken. I love it. I think that's <laughs> that's a win. It's like, whole oh, hey, kids. Can I drink your blood? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's still more Dracula than Walken. Oh, but we just I, got the last go. crown. We got the last. Whoop. Whoop. Whoa. Uh, Okay, just walk me through the wall. Uh, we've got the last doll, so I think this island's about to collapse. This is also a, a reminder for people in the chat. If you wish to sub to Buddy Games, this is the best month to do so because it's September. So you get a little bit of a discount. Yeah, discount, to Twitch. Uh, that's all I'll say. Um, 
yeah it's there if you want it we but are... you're, not, you're not obliged of course you're no, not no, obliged no. but it's there and all the money goes back into buddy games as well it we does, don't we yeah. don't take a penny of it for ourselves uh not even for kfc in, in fact 40 wings i actually bought myself yeah you just wanted that for your own collection so yeah, yeah. um so yeah, it just means we can upgrade our kit or do special projects. Oh, hang on, I need to get it here. Because yeah, there will definitely be uh, more expensive games that I think would be great to have on Buddy Games. Did uh, you know, for instance, there's a PS1 game called Team Buddies. Oh, is there? Yeah, but oh, it's, it's like, I think cool. it's like 80 pounds or something. It's quite God, expensive. So much money, yeah, it's really? because it wasn't sold, it didn't sell well. But oh, I'm like, okay, come yeah. on, we're called Buddy Games. This game called Team Buddies is on PlayStation. Come on, we have to play this. I've got like a... It's really good, it's actually. Eagle Corp ladder, forum made drop down ladder, non slip material. Oh, it's for climbing. Ah, that's clever. I like that. Right, what have I got here? Do 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 do. And what have I got here? Uh, Sengui, you might remember 40 Wings as Rough and Tumble. Oh, uh, yes, it did have a different name. Yeah, so <laughs> I tested it just in case because I was like, hey, this game has like different names in different <gasps> regions. Oh. So there's a hydrate earlier I didn't do. Um, and, uh, thank you, Rosie. And, um, uh, it was called Rough and Tumble in, in the Netherlands. And I was like, oh, hey, hold up. If that's the case, then maybe I have a Dutch copy. So I, I booted it up and I did. So I was like, oh no, Rose, we need to get the game. <laughs> yeah. There's no language choice in that one. Yeah. I think we're just one away. One. And oh, no, hang on. 22. Three. We need three. More three. Apples. three more apples. Can you do it, Narina? No, not Narina. What was her name? You're just having fun, are you? Well, that's a different person. Who's that? That's... Azam... Azam Marabu... <laughs> that was I think a... it did tell me, if I go in here, I think it told me who was in my map. Um, that one? No. That one? No. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah. No, that wasn't it. Oh, damn it. License. I did see the other players and their level. Wasn't there. Oh, we have Evac in the chat. Hello, <coughs> Evac. Hello, Evac. Welcome to Buddy Games. Um, I will message you in October regarding end of November with slash beginning of December. Don't worry about it for now. Um, but uh, we need to get together for our Gex stream uh, for that point because, you know, I don't know about you guys in, in the chat, but normally end of November, like less than a month till Christmas, that's usually when the, the Christmas spirit starts, you know, boiling up in me. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, that might be a good point to play Gex. Uh, Oh my goodness, I think it's Gex Free. It's the one with the Christmas level in the beginning. Yeah. And that's why we're playing it, because there's a Christmas level in the beginning. That's the that's it. That's the only reason why. Gex Free, thank you, Evac. Gex Free is here. It's the one for me. Uh, I don't know anything about it, so I'm <laughs> looking forward to seeing what it's all about. Uh that one, 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 that one. Also, these are, I like these ones. I also want to say, did you know that our VOD for uh, for Skyrim has hit over 3,000 views? This is bonkers in yeah, itself. It's, yeah, uh, 3,000 people on Twitch have now watched it. That's the most it. views that uh, any Buddy Games content has ever got. That's insane. Thank you all. Ever. Ever. Yeah. This is the police station. Right next to the bus stop. Yeah, why is not? Is that possible? No. It's... I think you can just put it, put it anywhere. No, it has to be green. What about that where the street ends over there? Where that uh, pedestrian Maybe. is walking? Let's pick it over there. That's the storage thing. Yeah, it has to be green. That's all I know. So we'll try it. Yeah, oh, yeah it's a bit there far out, but yeah, it does go there. It works. There we go. Boom. You can see it just come into the void now. You can actually stand on top of it as well while it comes in. Oh, nice. Doesn't it look like it's getting 3D printed? Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a really good way of pushing it, yeah. Um, thank you, Archduke. Yeah, we worked really hard for the uh, Skyrim stream. It was it was a special after all, so we wanted to deliver on something good. Indeed. Uh, hope it was worth the wait. On to next year. <laughs> yeah. And we do another 12-hour stream. I but mean, obviously, it, it would be great if we can do them more often, but they, they require so much preparation. And also, like, time, because it's not just the day itself, it's the day after, because you can't just do it, like, as big of a stream as that, and then expect the next day to be calm and quiet. Oh, it's dead. Oh, the rain! The rain! With a gift sub to uh, In the Queue. In the Queue. Thank you very much. Uh, You're going in the Book of Eternity. Oh, I thought I turned it on. 
Whoops. That's okay. You had it on. Oh. I forgot about it. Oh, it was already <laughs> on, was it? Yeah. You were the way rain. ahead of me. Oh, just, yeah, I just got very excited there and just put loads of exclamation marks next to it. But that means you've done loads. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorting that. Right, cool. We've got a police officer now. Uh, yeah, uh, Cork, I'm glad it says, I'm glad you're getting the recognition you deserve. Thank you. <laughs> so, comrade list. So, I can report them now. So, this person that's joining me is level 12, apparently. I'm only oh, wow. level 4. So, they've been playing a lot longer. Yeah. And I can report. Also, if someone's griefing me or whatever, I can also report them hmm yeah and you're halfway through on no you're 20 percent to 40 percent in your next uh star rating mm. if you look on your left side of your screen oh yes yes two comrades 15 minutes okay so i can immediately if i need assistance i can be an attack prioritize resource gathering prize town repairs town defense okay so i can go here and like oi i need everyone attack uh, attacking the big monster which is gone now it's actually turned into a nice day out here. Yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah, that person went lying. It's Do something! Yeah, grab a pickaxe or something. Yeah, Help out. Going... Seriously, if everyone just got together, <laughs> they could just attack this island, wherever it's gone. That island, they could just destroy it. I, I it thought for a second minerals. you're going to say something extremely like uh, profound. Like, if everyone worked together, <laughs> then we would all be in a better place or something. No. We would have a, a better society. No, I want everyone working for me, so I don't have to work as hard. <laughs> That's all it is. Oh, goodness. You got that so true philanthropist attitude. Oh, there's more gold on the floor. Yeah. Ah. That I can't pick up. What if they oh, dig only... harder and faster? That would be good. <laughs> and if they didn't, maybe we can have some kind of like someone there to encourage them yeah, yeah. to work faster and harder you for us. You have a whistle. Us. Remember? Whistle them. There you go. Work faster, everyone. I don't I don't know if the whistle has any meaning. I'm I guessing it's either. just like a bold statement. So you can give it a meaning. I thought maybe it was like, oh, you know, it gets all your residents in together, like the the, the town hall bell in yeah. um, in Animal Crossing. Just brings all your residents all together and you can, you know, have them there. But no. Yeah. No, I mean, that's uh, just a general consensus I saw online is that there, there were a couple of people that were a bit lost with this game. And I, I won't lie, the conveyance every now and then is a bit, hmm. But it's still, you know, it's still fun. And I bet you, once someone has explained it to you, yeah, uh, and you get oh, it, because it's not... Something new, I haven't seen that one before. It's like a oh, spider. It's a spider. Watch yeah. out, Rosie. Because it's not difficult so far. It's just, you know, a matter no. of where is oh. everything. Okay. Thank you. That spider reminds me a bit of... Uh, why does this all remind me of the, the Souls games? Because in Bloodborne, there's like this spider creature, and it's like in a very misty area. Yeah. Uh, chat probably knows what the monster is called. Uh, and he has some really hairy legs and it's just super creepy uh, <laughs> yeah yeah i think it's wrong yeah is what he it was called doing a nice cinematic Look shot him, for yeah. you oh. it's a weird one i hope he doesn't come to my town what if he slowly turns around and walks yeah. five <laughs> times faster go <laughs> towards the screen it's uh yes oh oh okay just let out a bomb. Did, did he let out a bomb? Yeah, we didn't attack it. I don't think. As long as he does that, there. police station can't attack. It wasn't you, was it, Mister Man? I hope not. Don't attack the spider. <laughs> he's he's fine. The spider's we are, fine. We are clearly unarmed. <laughs> we clearly will not win the fight. <laughs> we really won't. We are going to die. The, the old lady will ask the spider how old <laughs> she looks, and then she dies. Exactly. We haven't got a chance in hoping hell. <laughs> oh, it's the end of the day. It's getting dark now. Why yeah, I felt like dark? it was someone was shooting a rocket at it. Yeah. But apparently it was... It's like when, <laughs> when Mr. Satan attacks Cell. It's just... <laughs> the spider was unfazed by it. Let's just get some more gold while we can. Someone shot a rocket at it. Is that what actually happened? I wonder yeah. if it was our policeman, if he actually has got powers. Like, you know, powers, it's, you know, weapon. Uh, Emac, it's also a little bit like um, like Death Stranding in a way, because yeah. the players that are you're play that are playing the game as well, they can help your game out with, like, time putting <gasps> things here and there. Like, there's literally ladders in the game. You can put literally yeah, yeah, yeah. ladders down for people. So and they can use them. That's, it doesn't get more Death Stranding than that. Good afternoon, Spoonie Bart. Welcome to Buddy Games. What do they call well. Death Stranding? What's the, there is a name for that style of multiplayer. 
in Death Stranding. Yeah, it's called like I, indirect multiplayer. I got actually a technical name. Rosie's the name. one that played Death Stranding. Uh, I, I watched... played it. It's a fantastic game, but I just can't remember what the actual what that multiplayer mode is called. It's not like cooperative. It's like indirect cooperative. I can't. It's got like a technical name. I can't remember what it's called. But this game has the same mechanic. So, <laughs> oh, we've got a new version, Mutaki. Yeah, something like that. Let's go M say hi. M Toaki or something. Let's go say hi. Oh, I'm getting spoke to again. I see you have new comrades. In order for them to work hard, I have sent you some tools. Thank you. Where are you? Be nice to your friends. Oh, Andrew is going to look for a little bit. Oh, you're going to grind in Yucks Like a Dragon. Have fun with that game. That game is so good. Hello. Oh, bye. Oh, yay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> see, they can't see me run around. Like, I can't see them run around. They just appear. A, All I see is their actions. There's a uh, talks about how Death Stranding is a blatant ripoff of this game. And <laughs> yeah. to which Sengui says, yeah, they even got Norma Reedus, who voices the little girl in the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Well, I just want to unwrap them. I just want to unwrap yeah. them and eat the chocolate. That's all I want to do when I see them. It doesn't help that we we used to get always like these these bags of uh, of, of Easter eggs and the ones in like golden uh, plated uh, wrapping, those were the good ones. Those were had, like uh, like fudge or toffee like f uh, filling in it, and those were so good. So it it just triggers a memory in me. I can do a union shop now. No, I've got the union shop. Military supplies was it? Uh, sounds good. Yeah. No, resident store. That's the one I want. Yeah, I, do, I do need military really supplies want. as well, so I'll do that now. But resident store, that's the one I need to have one resident. I can't figure out how to do that one. But we have got a new option, though. Military supplies. So that's exciting. Block unit. Propaganda sign. What does the propaganda sign do? Sign a uh, stimulus people interest in... Okay. Uh, Protective wall. So okay. the police station has unlocked new things, basically. Oh, those already had. Oh, people's bell. So that'd be good. I'll get that one done. Barricade. Pylon. Sapling. You must construct additional pylons, Liam. Yep, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. But first of all, I'm gonna build the military supply store. It's like the only StarCraft oh, thing I ever know. I oh my this goodness. One. This is a new one. Oh, this is gonna do, be do a you want me to do it? Freaking nightmare, Nico. I hate this one so much. Would you like me to do it quick? Do you wanna, go, you wanna give it a go? Yeah, I'll you? give it a go. Oh. oh. That's right. I just. So you've got a new time limit. Um, sorry, it was called the uh, military supplies. Okay. Oh, so yeah, when do you also... black? When do you unlock the communist manifesto? Oh dear. Oh goodness. Uh, Sangui, obviously. Um. Uh, trying to platinum it, Liam, Nico, and Rosie says Andrew Lim. Oh, you nice. accuse like a dragon. That was awesome. It's which one has the big tower of hor hatreds that Rosie did and did a whole video about? That's the one. That's the game. Oh, have fun with that one. <laughs> I only know if I haven't played it. I only know it from Rosie's video where she just talked about how difficult it was to do the the Tower of Terror. Oh, this is looking good. I hope so. Oh, I see. I see. Uh... Zengui, what I mean by obviously is that most <laughs> most chatbots don't like you very much, and there's a reason for that. You're always on the edge. Living on the edge. Yeah. Um, you're, just, you're testing. You're testing how, how you're testing every single part bot, uh, part bot, um, chat bot to see how far you can go. Every stream. Do, 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 do. That's how it is a beast, says Rosie. I'm so close. Are you though? Yeah, like literally, this red one needs to go like down there but it doesn't you quite have to undo everything just to get that down i hate slide puzzles you can use your bucks to get past the slide puzzle by the way They're only like five bucks so we can always do that so you've only got less than quarter to go never got attacked by my favorite moobot <laughs> it's shaped as a friend <laughs> yeah moobot does like you ah! it is really just bots uh Nightbot that hates you. Oh, hates come you. on, I'm so close. This, this, oh, this is it's infuriating. At the end now. If these were just flipped, that was it. That would have been enough. But nope. Just terrible at the game, apparently. Yeah, they, they are hard. They are difficult. <sighs> oh. Okay, which Military one supplies. Up, 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 up. Yeah, it's kind of annoying you got to do that for every single one. Like, yeah, you can use the bucks 
to the whatever they're called, the Freeman dollars. But I feel like oh, it, they should have done it just like... <laughs> thank you, Rosie, for that one. Um, I feel they should have just done this for like when you first build it. Like you're learning the schematic or something. But yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a bit annoying you have to every single time you want to build something. This is definitely like uh, an acquired taste when it comes to puzzles. Yeah, I just don't like slide some, puzzles. <laughs> some like them and some don't. I think what kills it for me is the fact that it's time-based. Yeah. Yes. That doesn't help as well. And the light's really bright on the bottom right. I have no <laughs> I can't, idea what color that is. Yeah, that's like if, if Q Games is, is listening to this, I, I will say um, my friend over here, he's colorblind. And uh, I, I think you're, yeah. you're kind of struggling well, to I see can, the colors in this, aren't you? I can you? see the two different colors. That's, that's not an issue. But on the bottom right there, I can't see what color that is. Can yeah. you? Yeah, I have that problem too. Yeah, because that's just too bright. It's just it's just washed out. There might be a color blind mode in this. I, yeah. We haven't looked into it actually. No. Maybe. But we no, spoke if too there were similar colors on here, then I would struggle. If there was like a brown and a red, yeah, or, or a blue and a and a another blue or or purple, sorry I should say, uh, I wouldn't be able to see. But no, these colors are fine. Almost like got a quarter left. Quarter of the time left. I can't get one in the corner. Excuse me, two seconds. I know you're just going to be watching Nico do this puzzle now for a few minutes. Uh, the chat's quite quiet, so uh, we'll, we'll leave it there, and ooh. I'll be right back. Oh, oh, yeah! Did it! Whew! They're tough. They're tough. Yeah. Gotcha. Nice, nice. Did it. Thank you, Narena. Thank you. Oof. They're really tough, actually, to solve. Uh, maybe I can just put one here, you know? Da, da, da. Yeah, see? You can just put them whenever you like. Uh, yeah, let's do it here. Just hope that nobody will destroy it. Right, let's see. Um, Rose says, yeah, Nico! Uh, Mr. Fidigo says, it reminds me of the Onimusha puzzles. I saw John Linneman on Twitter talk about Onimusha 3 the other day. Mm. Got me quite interested in playing the other Onimusha games rather than just the first one. Right. Dasvidanya. So they do talk Russian. They don't talk some, like, fake language. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Futuko. I will, uh, I will, I will make time for your command. Um, let's see. No, we already have that. Because Liam really, really wants that, um, police booth. Yeah, he now is low on Apple, so he wants that again. The oh, there you are. I've got the police booth already. Yeah, it's the, uh, the other one you yeah, want, the right? Union, the town thing. Yeah. I put it down for you, so everything should be good. Is it building, is it? Where yeah. Is, where is it built? Um, it's over there. Right behind the propaganda sign over there. Yeah, oh, that's that's what I built. It's a military oh. shop. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll find it there. <laughs> it's over there, yeah, there. That one. No, oh, there. There it is. You put it next to the police station, cool. Yeah. It's wonky, Nico. It's wonky. <laughs> what the hell's this? Oh. It's placed. You said, oh, just placed anywhere. I yeah, like, okay. I thought you'd do it in a straight line, though. So I can't build anything on there. But, oh, binoculars. A flare. Cool. So I think what we should do is... Sengui is playing tricks with you, Liam. C can I get a cookie? And then... Sengui redeems. Yes! <laughs> there you go. Have that one. It's a new Libanese biscuit. The white chocolate oh, with a milk chocolate but, uh, biscuit this time. Which is quite exciting. There's the thing. There's the thing out there. Um, I'm just going to quickly go to the bathroom. Which one is yeah. mine? Left. Okay. He's gone. He's gone. So I think what we're going to do... You can't hear him. It's oh. true. It's, it's very true. Um, I think we're going to explore another town. Let's work out how to do it. Because I don't know what I'm doing in my world. Nico's got himself tangled up. There we go. You good? You good? Yep. Sweet. So, yeah, we're actually going to be... Oh, hello up there. Oh, you're pointing at something. What are you pointing at? What are you pointing at? The generator. 
What are you weirdly pointing at, you... What are you pointing at? Tell me. I see you, but... There's nothing there. Are you telling me to get on the generator? Waited 30 minutes for that joke. <laughs> yeah, because it was already used. It's got a timer on it. It was a good... It was, it was worth waiting. What do you want? What do you want? Yeah, so what we're doing with the body bunker is, yeah, we're going to be moving, buying some new furniture for it. We're going to be changing our position. So we've got, like, the wall, uh, which you can't see at the moment. There's a big old wall to my to my left, uh, to that, that way, my left, stage left. And uh, we're going to be um, just building that. All my stuff's gone as well. What have you done? Oh, wow, look, they're tidying it up for me as well. These are nice people. Very tidy and neat. Um... Yes, yeah, so it's going to look really nice, I think, once we're all done. Uh, it's going to take a bit of time, but we just don't need... I don't need this extra desk. Where we set up the buddy game stuff at the moment, we just don't need this desk because I'm not working from home anymore. I'm, I'm office-based. They placed another one of these as well. I think we're just waiting for another eye. It's got a very weird light, though. I feel like I'm going to be attacked or something soon, which is nerve-wracking. But, yeah, for the last bit of the stream, I think we should uh, go and visit another world and see what other people get up to. Hello, Nico. Welcome back. Uh, but where were your lovely desk go, Liam? I'm getting rid of it. It was like a cheap, t like, £16 desk from Ikea. I don't need it. Um, it was. A, I literally bought it for for buddy game, um, for, for working from home, which I don't do anymore in my new role. So, yeah, I'm going to get rid of it, and we're going to make it amazing in here with lights and yeah. stuff on display, and it's going to be a wonderful time. Right. The station cannot be used because if you move to the other town, your comrades in this town will not be able to continue playing. You can choose. You can close your town and notify your comrades from the option I, menu. I found a, uh, a what is it? A Dovahkiin statue as well. Oh really? I, I was like, oh, that might be good for like display yeah. on the back in the future. Um, Bart Long is in the chat. It's good Bart day, Long. Bart Long. Um, Bart Long, just a quick question. <gasps> uh, Something's happening. Rose, you probably know the answer as well. But do you stream tonight? Oh, ah, there we go. You see one being built now. That's what I wanted to show you guys earlier. Oh, it's a massive TV. Whoa, look at that. Okay, we're staying in this ah, land then. Rosie, Rosie and, and Bart have confirmed it. Yes, so that means uh, at 7 p.m. BST, they'll be playing more of uh, The Quarry on PS5. So enjoy that. Getting ready for more spooks. Oh! Liam is doing the, the all the magic. There you go. That was Liam that did that. That was not Rosie that did, do, no, that, Rosie, did that. Rosie hasn't learned Rosie that ability like, yet. Know. Yeah. <laughs> She's like level three <laughs> moderator. So, got a new TV oh, to explore. Oh, it's got texture and stuff as well. Annoyingly, it's, uh, it's nighttime. So it's a really bad time to explore because it's, obviously it's dark. But it'll mm -hmm. be dark in there anyway because unless the sun rises that way, because it's inside the TV, it's going to be quite dark in there anyway. So I need to buy like a a lantern. Yeah. I've got this thing I can take I, with me I have now. to ask Rosie, what do you think of the, the clone's outfit? Because Rosie loves like yellow, orange, those kind of colors. Yeah. Anything that's vibrant and out there. Oh. Oh, what's that? Had a bit of a <laughs> Disney energy Whoa. to it with the arc. Whoa, look at that. Now that's great. Oh yeah, I forgot that we can just teleport, right? Right, just teleport like that. They can't. You can just you can just see their actions. <laughs> they build a little staircase for you. It's really nice of them. Shout, shout out to Booty. Yeah, Booty! Oh. Booty! What? Booney nineteen is the Oh, MVP. is that the person? Is that the person who's who's doing this? Yeah, Booney is the person that's oh. they were like, okay, I'll build you the staircase. Yeah. Okay, I built you another staircase. <laughs> okay, I'll break this thing for you quick. Um, yeah, continue oh. touring. But making Liam happy playing Cyberpunk 2077, yes! Because the anime was so good. I'm glad you're finally getting into it. I'm hoping more people will now play it after the anime, because the anime is actually fantastic. Yeah, um, I, I, I need to watch it because I saw the trailer of it. I yeah. was quite impressed. I've only watched six episodes so far. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm savoring it every moment. I don't want to binge it because it's more Cyberpunk stuff, and I love Cyberpunk, yeah. so I'm just like, I I'm got to little... watch Got a little fun fact for you okay. about the show. Uh, do you know who makes the music of it? 
Uh, I know the intro is Franz Ferdinand. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, the, the original soundtrack for it is done by Akira Yamaoka. And okay. if that doesn't ring any bells, that's nope. the person who did the soundtrack for Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3. Oh, wow, 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 okay. I don't know if that's fitting in the cyberpunk nope, setting. No, I don't, not but really. He's, he's quite a talented guy. He can, he can do more than just that. He's just known for that style. I remember hearing his music in the medium, and I was like, oh, that's good. That just immediately brought me back to, like, Silent Hill 2 vibes. Oh, oh not again. How do I do? Oh, that's how you zoom in. Right, they're going to poop on me again. <laughs> they did earlier as they flew past. They just chucked stuff at my town. These guys seem all right. Yeah, studio, it's Studio Trigger. They went, oh. they went crazy with it. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa, you did it. Someone shot it down. This police dude is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just killing give, everyone. Maybe you should give him an apple. Yeah, I will. Yeah. They love apples, apparently. Remember? Oh. Oh. Oh, another one. Jesus. And it falls straight through the floor. Just Let's like see. that. Uh, what's, the, what's the button? No, not that. Not that. Not that. I just want to see what he's, what's actually this is, happening. I won't lie. I really like the ominous feel this game has. It's like a... Jesus. It's like yeah. a, a dream that only half of it you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a way. I see that. Yeah. You're almost in a dreamlike state. It's, it's oh. so... No, 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 Come on. This stuff. I really sink fast in that stuff. Right. I need to... It's so far away from town. <sighs> um... <laughs> Sengui says, Cookie tasted great, by the way. Oh, good. I'm glad. Uh, I really like my one, too. Chocobo Buddy says, Sniper Police. I don't know why he said that. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I saw a comment from Rosie. Buddy Games says, top 10 staircases. <laughs> the one from this friend in this game. Yeah. <laughs> Booney19. Booney19, the real is... MVP of this game. Thank you, Booney19. I secretly hope that Booney19 is going to check out, because not a lot of people are streaming it. No, that's so true. It's that's like true. They, they might be, you know, looking for us. Uh, Singer says, is that a giant telly? Yes, it is. Yeah, it just spawned in. It's funny, though, because when you when you think of, like, a retro television, it's the same when you have with phone icons, where you have, like, you know, calling people and they show, like, an old phone. Yeah. It's not like that. Like, I don't think anyone grew up with a TV like no, that. No, the weirdest one, especially in the UK, for, for speed cameras, mm -hmm. uh, they've got the old, like, wind-up yeah, yeah, you're and, right. I mean, they weren't even in use when the speed cameras were invented. Yeah. So why on earth did they choose that picture? Yeah, um, they, it's very strange. It's funny though because where you get this a lot with, um, um, like let's say for instance cassette tapes. They sound old, right? Like you could say like, oh, cassette tapes. They're probably like thirty years old or something. When I was a kid, which you know, like a kid between the age of like six to nine, which is like twenty five years ago, mm -hmm. the cassette tapes were pretty much non-existent. Like you had them, but it was primitive. It's like you know, if you buy uh, DVDs we, today, okay. So it's like that's the difference, yeah. Because cassette tapes were very much in use when I was a kid. Yeah, I, it, I didn't have CDs. I had cassette tapes. Yeah, it was only when I was kind of in late primary or well, beginning of secondary school I got CDs were like the norm. Yeah, no, I, I, I had late nineties I, I I used CDs pretty much. I think it it didn't help that we, all of our systems had like CD technology in it, mm. like PS One. So um, my parents were just tempted to just use CDs in general, but uh, what, I, what my point is, is that um, you p perceive things as like, because it's so old, that it's like, oh, you must have grown up with it. It's like, no, not at all. Mm. It's uh, a similar thing with, uh, you know, you might have this too, but when I grew up, you know, people that were like 70, 80 ish, they grew up in the 30s and 40s. Whereas if you now say 70, 80, you are referring to people that grew up in the 60s. Yeah. And it's like, oh God, there's like a 20 year gap. So you might be referring to things in the 40s and 50s, and then uh, they'll be like, I have no clue what you're on about, because they didn't grow up with mm. it. So I just I just feel that when you talk about, uh, when you show that television, it's like, I don't think anyone in the chat grew up with this. No one did, no. <laughs> no, not with those kind of televisions. Those, those were This like is like the TV television. you watched, like 1969, Moon Landing. This yeah. is the TV you had. Maybe color if you were posh. Yeah. Let's go back to this strange land. I do like how they're just kind of ripping the resources for me and I get to reap all the rewards for it. Oh, God. Yeah, I remember seeing that um, statistic once. 
Crash Bandicoot. That was uh, an old one. When it, when it was 2021, someone pointed out saying we're closer to 2050 than we are to 1990. In 2021, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's and a now it's like, oh, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, that's a horrible thought, isn't it? Yeah. See, I have that sometimes when people talk about, like, that they did stuff in the 80s or 70s and, like, 50 or 60. And, like, that sounds so mm. distant, but yet you're so young. Oh, I need a bloody pickaxe. Yeah, the persistence of the Vsauce made a whole video about per uh, perception and time, and it's super interesting. What was that? I saw a gunshot or something. Right? I don't know. I don't know. Nice little synth. Private. Hello. Uh, right, what have I got to trade in? Iron J says, unfortunately, I have to go. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day as well, Iron J. Thank you so lovely, much for stopping by. Lovely to see you here, always. Games. Always lovely to hear, see you here. You're going to go buy this now. I hope you buy it. <laughs> it's a neat little game. I don't fully understand it yet, but it's definitely a neat little game. There's no denying that. Uh, Chuck Robinson says, to be fair, the first TV I had was still black and white and only had six channels. I mean, we don't, we don't know your age, and I, I wouldn't dare asking. But, uh, yeah, my first TV, uh, okay, so when we say my first TV, I, was, I think of the one in the living room. Yeah, your, parent, up. Yeah, your yeah. family TV. Your family TV, yeah, because <laughs> that's another thing, right? Back then, you had a TV, and that's yeah. it. You had the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't have multiple TVs, or heck, dare I say, a monitor. <laughs> I've got, I've got six monitors in here, yeah, and I've got you, three TVs in my you, house. You, you didn't have that kind of stuff, so... Uh, yeah, oh, I forgot to pick up the pickaxe. Oh, I forgot the pickaxe. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, for me it was uh, you know color cable. Uh, it was analog as well. Uh, yeah, you I mean, had to. We, we had analog. We didn't have an antenna, I think, because that that was already oh, primitive at the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, unless you were kind of a, a rich rich family, you didn't have uh, satellite TV in the UK, so you tended to just have the f four channels or five if you were lucky. Channel five was very sketchy; it wasn't everywhere. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was only people because Sky was. It was kind of a thing, but it wasn't like you didn't have like a sky box. You bought like a sky dish and you had to like type in the channel number. You had like a big mm -hmm. flip book in front of you. It wasn't it wasn't as streamlined as it was now. I remember the days. This is going to sound also primitive to people. I remember the days when there was no TV after 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's also like a thing from the past. There's whatever rerun they have in their mind on. Well, uh, back when our parents were growing up, they were literally... Um, it was literally like they would the TV would stop. It would it would be a little white dot in the middle. Oh no way! We we had a yeah, title just card. No TV. Yeah, it was before teletext and things. Yeah, my my mother still used teletext. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's gone I'd... now. But yeah, teletext yeah, I, was. Yeah, I think she. I don't know how she does it these days. I think it's still around in the Netherlands, or she's using some kind of like app that translates something all oh, right teletax was, was it was really good teletax and honestly for yeah, like a free really internet good. on your phone kind of thing you could get the weather you could get the weather the, the, that the, was the thing that we always yeah. used for the weather yeah we, we always checked the weather i think it was channel se something with seven i oh, think i, I don't want to say before i say something really creepy um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah channel seven was babe station <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's the only reason why you remember that channel yeah exactly you say things yeah. like oh. <laughs> no nico yeah, channel seven um, was something else Else. I remember that. I remember that you had to wait 30 seconds oh, okay. yeah, to I wait for the for the, the images to uh, to change yeah, as well. Yeah, it wasn't That quick. was quite funny. Um, it was a pain if it was in, in uh, PM and AM. Then uh, we had some conflicts with that. I remember those days. Uh, I remember that the weather was actually quite uh, primitive as well because um, it would only just give you a region. So yeah. when... Um, I don't really want to reveal where I used to live, but basically, uh, if we were... It's like we live 30 kilometers away from the point that it, it registered it from. So I was always a bit like, yeah, it, does, it fits, but not quite. Mm. So uh, every time we, we saw that on Teletext, we didn't really feel like it was properly addressing to our area. Lee said there was a local cinema listing on page 42. Ah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, That's I remember cool. we used to get the um, what was on the TV at that those days. Massive shadow uh, reflection goes all the way to my town. He's getting very close, isn't he? Like he's yeah. not—he's not coming towards me, but he is getting close. Yeah, I, I remember the days that you also um, looked up on their website to see what was on. 
um, mm. what was going to be on television. I remember doing that for Fox Kits quite a bit. Uh, yeah, unless you got the TV Guide magazine, then yeah, you had to <laughs> go online. Yeah, that was another thing. I think my mom always got like a TV magazine I for think it. they came uh, weekly just for free. I think they would just put yeah. one of those things to put through your door. But she always made sure like around Christmas that we had that in case there were like movies on or something. Uh, Bart Long says, Kojira! Yeah. <laughs> We don't, this thing hasn't attacked us yet, but I think it will do eventually. I think it's just going to circle around. It's getting closer. It was, when I first started playing this, it was really far out. It's definitely getting closer. Oh, wasn't, uh, Sengui, wasn't that 888 in the Netherlands? I think that was channel 888. So in the Netherlands, you had uh, a, a channel for deaf or bad hearing people. And uh, they would sometimes they'd have to tra text translate it for you on the get go, and sometimes they have to translate it at live. Oh right, okay. Yeah, and then you'd have yeah eight eight subtitles, uh, and uh, you can use that if there was like national news, like I don't know that the king would get married or because uh, the Netherlands is a monarchy, and uh, oh sweet, yeah, and this is like just these little things here and there that they would broadcast it with. I just, I just remember that as well. 888 subtitles. Uh, new population record of 20. Very good, very good. 10 party member stamps are already on their way to you. Use them wisely. I'd love to, but I don't know Is how. Is one of these boxes, maybe? No, that's all uh, stuff I'm getting. Um, so your ration card to give a tran uh, moved. So like, like that, it's a shotgun. Some of them will be pickaxes. Um, Sengui, I think the, 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 diff the big difference between the two of us is that um, I had just a gap <laughs> of like nothing and then I had an MP3. So I didn't grow up with uh, cassette tapes and, uh, and CD players and stuff. I had I had like the, the full on like stereo system. Variant. Okay. I didn't have ones on the go. You didn't have a, a yeah. So I didn't have those, but when the MP3 player came out, yeah, I didn't have a Discman, but I did have a, an MP3 terrible player. terrible anyway, so. Unite and win! <laughs> Spoony bar, I'm really sorry. If this if this is all like making you guys feel bad, then just let us know and we'll stop. But this I'm is making going. me feel very old, yeah. It's making me, uh, you know, nostalgic in a weird way. Uh, if anyone knows what I'm meant to do to get residents, apparently I've got 20 of them, but I still can't do a resident shop. It says that's I haven't a, got any. That's another great question. What was the. How much space did your first MP3 player have? Oh, it was only like eight megabytes or something like Whoa, that. You were you were there quick then. Eight megabytes? Yeah, I think so. It's like two songs. Floppy disks has more. <laughs> Maybe it was two hundred and fifty-six megabytes then. Yeah. It was something it was really weak though. I can remember I could I could just about fit an album yeah. onto it. Oh just fit yeah, yeah. it's 128 then. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 128 was that, and then 256 was if you had uh, um if you had two albums. I had 128 in two thousand three. And I do remember when my dad gave it to me, he was like, this is a lot, by the way. He uh, he really spoiled me at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just like this guy sounds in the middle of That's zoomed in. I can walk close, I suppose. Yeah, can, can oh. you startle him or something? Turn <laughs> around like, whoa. <laughs> this is Nico's new be, favorite character. This is gonna be yeah. Feel free to to clip that, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna make that an emote now, and then we'll we'll, we'll give it a meme. Why is he staring at the wall? What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's called Matroshka first, and that's it. I mean, he is kind of adorable, isn't he? I like his silver suit. Oh, hold on, Rosie went, I think you got, got the, the wrong, wrong number, number dear. dear. I love his silver suit. It's really tight on the bottom, though. It is, yeah. It looks more like a, a pajama with yeah. the buttons on it. Um, Sengui had 128. Stu Sharp had uh, 32. Uh, Archduke said uh, uh, 8 megabyte technology has developed yeah. since then. Yeah, absolutely. Uh <laughs> <laughs> They do have lovely faces. Cute games. If you are watching, we're not laughing at them. No, it's they're fun. beautiful. They're, I actually they're love just it. Really fun yeah. to stare at. Yeah, they're great. I really like the art in this game. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's because they have a bit of a cross eye to them. First person mode in this game is beautiful, by the way. Yeah, we should. <laughs> That's the mother for sure. I mean, <laughs> re it's really cool. I do love it. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. That was weird. It just always zooms in on people, maybe. <laughs> Rosie's you. waiting for that one. Rosie's having that. fun. <laughs> Rosie's learning all of it today. Wow, it's a bit weird. Happy Doonen has arrived in the town. How do I make you a resident? I want... Uh, Revelov says, oh, sorry, I'm late. What am I looking at? Yeah. <laughs> this is the Tomorrow Children Phoenix Edition, which came out um, two weeks ago on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. It is a game that originally came out on PS4. Oh, look what uh, someone's done. That's free to play, but now they've removed all the free to play, brought it back online, and now you can just purchase the game as its own thing. This code was provided to us by Q Games, and... Uh, it, but it's all free yeah. and whatsoever, so we are completely off the hook. Yeah, we're not sponsored we're by them. We're not sponsored them. by it. We're they not going to get a us. big big bag at the end of it. I or did anything. ask. I was like, how much are you going to pay me so I can play this on the channel? They said nothing. Do you You're know who I am? Git. Uh, yeah, I used that one. Do you know who I am? <laughs> they, they weren't having it. so um, I parked yeah. my car double just yeah. to be here on time. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. No, no, there's none, none of that. There's none of that. No. no, they literally just emailed us out of the blue and said, "Here's a." Uh, they gave us a bit of an introduction about what the game is and said, "We think you might enjoy yeah. it." It's there was no. They didn't ask us to stream it or YouTube it or, or anything. They just. Yeah, and uh, the reason why I was interested in it is because it was originally a PlayStation Four game that yeah. kind of went under the radar. So I was like, "Oh, what's this?" And uh, what is it? And the other reason was Hi. was the fact that you know it's Q Games. It's a really cool studio. They made the Pixel Jump games, which mm. are also on PlayStation, and. Uh, they have their, you know, the co-founder is Dylan Cuthbert, and I, I rave about him every now and then because I'm just like, oh my god, that's like gaming history. So it's, I feel honored that we have that. But again, this wouldn't be possible without oh, you guys. We need so, to go. We need to uh, go. We do hope you enjoyed this game. I think this, I think this island's about to destroy itself. <laughs> that's not how Liam feels. We're, we actually feel very humble about it. We're actually like, yeah, oh 100%. my goodness, why do we deserve this? Oh no, where's the? Where is it? Where's the What's town? Is that the town? I think it's about to be destroyed. I just want to. I want to steal this. I want to steal this. <laughs> Sengui, yeah. Uh, sorry, Sengui gave a very Dutch reference, but yeah, I have to agree. I have to agree. It looks like it. Yeah, this. This. I think it's. It's got to zero, so I think this cube is about to be destroyed. I really want to steal all this stuff. <laughs> the the long neck doesn't help either. I'll say that much. I get, uh, there's, there's the thing, right? Checking all that off. No, I'm just going to uh, use the ladder. Uh, climb down. Because yeah, I, I do. Th do you think this game has fallen damage? Yeah, I think it does. Yeah. 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 You, you can die, um, but to be honest, you just respawn. Oh, you left. You're, you're more likely to just lose everything. I don't know if you do actually. Oh, happy Don wasn't so happy then. No, I did destroy this fence. So uh, yeah. So yeah, basically this is about well, to be destroyed. Well, did he make that fence? Oh no, I think, I don't know if it was him. But I thought this thing's about to be destroyed, so I thought I'd better steal everything off it. Yeah, he's probably just leave. Otherwise it oh, might get you lost. You see on the on the right, that's your resources in the town. Yes. As in like how yeah. many, because if those are all zero, then your town will be like, oh, I'm yeah, hungry. They, the residents in your town need food. So this is probably going to disappear. Nice, you can now have What's 20 that? people in your town. Th oh. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, Revel of this game oh, is a uh, I know I need to build is a, a cross between um, um, Animal Crossing and Death Stranding, yeah. where in which you kind of just try to build this town by going to these lands and uh, getting the resources from them, but at the same time you can also go into someone else's world and help them out, and uh, you know help to build their town. That's why we have these strangers coming into our town as well. Uh, I was thinking of calling it France too, but I just I just felt like it was a bit too on the nose. And we got Jesse in the chat. Hello, Jesse. Jesse, hope you, Jesse, Jesse. Hope you're doing well. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. This is uh, the Tomorrow Children that I was on about a few days ago. The Tomorrow Children. Yeah. Yeah. Snake. <laughs> a puzzle. <laughs> oh, my God. How does this puzzle work? <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I could call someone on a codec to solve this puzzle for me. I hate puzzles. Oh, I love puzzles. I hate these puzzles, though. Just uh, for newcomers in the chat, whatever you do, just don't say Brett Demon three times. Just don't say Brett Demon three times. I've almost said it three times myself. Yeah, don't say it don't another say time. It. Do don't not say, say it one more. Don't say it. <laughs> Bad things will happen to us. They will. Do, 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 do. Um, Bart Long says, uh, channel the Puzzle Goblin. Mm. Bart's got a new creation he's made called the Couch oh Snake. Dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Chat's at it. 
the brick demon. No! Stang! What have you done? Quick, remove his comment. Yeah. Quick! <laughs> All right, I'm going to bribe It's over them. now. I need to build. It's I, over. I need more homes. And I'm going to quick solve oh, again. No, I'm, I'm so, is it, what do you think is scarier? When, when you don't know it's happening or when you know it's going to happen but you don't know when? Yeah, that's it. I keep on looking at our, our <laughs> camera so I can see behind us now. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'll be sportsman about it. Right, I need to, I need to build some more houses. Um, Let's see. Bart Long says, no couch snake. It's too dangerous to bring back. <laughs> couch snake was very funny. I thoroughly enjoyed the couch snake. We have 45 people in the chat as oh, well. Thank you so much for all to be here. sticking around as well. Great. Um, we were getting closer and closer to partner numbers as well. And then uh, Twitch remembered that you did a test stream with one viewer. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it absolutely plummeted the number. <laughs> that sucks. That absolutely sucks. Basically, yeah, when I downloaded a new OBS and it just it was horrible. Don't do it. If you've got OBS and you haven't updated yet, just just don't. Stay on 27. Simon says, nothing can save you. Now the Brett demon will get you. <laughs> I keep on, yeah. We need a keep, little... I keep looking now. Yeah, I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> I need to... I'm building um, more houses. I realize I need 50 residents, don't I? So I'm building more houses so I can do that. Yeah, not 28, not 20. Oh, for goodness sake, it happened again, Liam. Yeah, it's your coasters, that is. <laughs> you meant to buy the anti non stick ones. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Brett Demon, everyone. Hold up. Brett Demon. Is this really it's the bread? Bread Demon? It's not really. It's a cracker. It's off. When it's... you summon the Brett Demon twice, you will get the cracker. <laughs> <laughs> Only a cracker, Brett Demon. That is what happens when you get the three calls. The Brett Demon will give you a cracker. <laughs> I am the Brett Where's my cracker, Brett Demon? You have to say it another three times. You should have said it six times if you wanted one. <laughs> you can share that one. <laughs> can I have a bit, Liam? No. Sharing is caring, yo boy. This is my lunch. There we go. <laughs> The Brett Demon only has a limited amount. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's troubling times, isn't it, Brett, Ma Miss Brett Demon? Look, I'm trying to, to carry on giving it's bread. I feel bad for the Brett Demon. We're supposed to feel scared, not... Oh, I'm the Brett Demon. I get my own microphone that's not made of bread. <laughs> One day you two will be made of bread, and then you'll be my best friends. You'll be worthy of being my bread minions. I am the Brett Oof. Demon! <laughs> And she's off. <laughs> and with that, later, Brett the Brett Demon. Demon left. <laughs> what have you done, chat? What have you done? Uh, there we go. We're there back. we go. We're right. back. And I'm I'm in the middle of building. Angry <laughs> said I'm dying of laughter. <laughs> I know I know right. It's great to have a sudden uh, guest appearances on the chat. We love the Bread Demon. We've got quite a little town building up here now. Oh. Okay. No, you're up here. Uh, so many, I've got four houses, so I need one more house. I'm pretty sure I built another one. And someone grabbed it and built it. No. Um, uh, Spoonie Boys, I'm so confused. What I just come back to? <laughs> it's the Brett Demon. <laughs> it's the Brett Demon. Yeah. Oh, obviously. watch out. Watch out. You can't say it again now. Oh, you will summon it again. yeah. She'll get tired <laughs> now, of that. Now the chat is going to be like, <laughs> with this. Sorry, but he's needed a wee. What did I miss? <laughs> Nothing, Rosie. Nothing. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's all Don't jolly. Mention. Yeah, lovely. Right, where can I build? Oh, it just flashed up. It just flashed up for a second. <laughs> I didn't realize I could build so far out. I thought I'd kind of be in the confines of the town. So that means I can actually... Yeah, that's what I realized as well. Yeah. And then I uh, made it like non straight, and then yeah, you were like, What have you done? I know, I've really ruined this little area here because I thought I had to kind of build. Your fa one of your favorite usernames popped up, Liam. So, Yo, is Caitlin. Yo, is Caitlin! <laughs> <laughs> so exciting Caitlin. to say Yo, is Caitlin every week. The rule is, is that when Yo, is Caitlin popped up, you don't say it in a neutral way. You can't say it in a neutral way, it's impossible. You have to say it in an exciting way. Yeah. It's just how how the name's been made. It's it's, good. it's perfect. It, it gives you, it will give you good energy, right? Yeah. They, did you know they say that people with a um uh, a username that starts with A, B, and C is more likely to be happy in their life? Than people with really? Like yeah. It's because um, you're first on lists and whatsoever, and you'll That's pop true, up. Yeah. You'll pop up sooner. Uh, my and, surname's uh, C, so I get. So, I'm usually at the top of things. Here's the thing that that 
sucked for me when uh, I did uh, my... Was it when I went to uni and that kind of stuff? Um, and that is that my my last name is Vleek, which stands, uh, starts with a V, which is at the very end of the alphabet. And uh, because of that, when they did presentations, mine was usually one of the last ones. And if Sorry. there's anything that happens with presentations, and if you put a lot of work and effort into yours, is that... Um, your presentation will basically be the one where everyone goes, all right, <laughs> we've been sitting here for three hours now, because let's be real, most people don't prepare for their presentations. Yeah. I loved it, so I did. I put a lot of work oh, in shit. them. So I was always like, I put so much work in it, everyone just wants to go home. <laughs> <laughs> why, did you, why did you grace me with that? Let's talk about Death Stranding. <laughs> This weird baby structure and it's so far away from my town. These dolls look so good. Look how far away that bloody place is from my town. It's gonna take me ages. Says, hydrate. Hydrate. I got a 2.2 liter bottle. Ridiculous. Which is no ridiculous. one needs that much water. Oh, what's going on over there? Oh, he just spawned and, in. Uh, yeah, it helps me to stay hydrated. Right, what we're gonna do then? We're, since we obviously can go over there. Oh. What? Oh, the train's here. See, it is a bus. I told you. Okay, I haven't seen this before. We got uh, Ushi Yamada over here joining us. Way to cross the void and transport. Oh, so that one's so far away. I need to get the bus over. Yeah. I see. Okay, okay, let's go. Ding, ding. Are you prepared? <laughs> Ushi Yamada has, like, all the faith in you. Oh, you can change um, the camera angle. Do I get to drive it? No. You have to just wait. Which is cool because now if you go away, you can have like this this free cam. Like you know when you've done like a racing game and you uh, you can just watch all the camera angles. Yeah. And if you look to your yeah. right, you'll see a, a scary monster. And you'll see Godzilla himself. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's weird looking. Where is he? I just saw it. Look at his face. <laughs> Sorry, lurkers, <laughs> for waking you up. It's very like Death Stranding on this one. Yeah, isn't it? Crossing the void. Now look at that. Look at that nice angle. <laughs> Hold on. Is the monster now going for the upload? Oh, attack? is he really? <laughs> He's going that way. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we need to go back to town. Oh, no. We need to go. Actually, we could just watch it from here, right? I think, I think we're fine watching <laughs> it from here. This is what people call fleeing. Yeah. <laughs> It's called Run for Your Life. <laughs> run! <laughs> run, villagers! <laughs> They're doomed. What have we done? We left them to die. I really <laughs> want to go back to town now. Is he actually going it, or is, he, is it just a bit of perception? Mm, I think he's, it's perception, actually, but, you know, it is funny. Yay. No, it's perception. He's further away. <laughs> Thank you, Rosie. Rosie! Trying to scare us like that. Yeah, he is further away. I think but he's quite he is, close, he's though. He's getting closer, yeah, though. Yeah, well, as you can see, that thing is almost at the third one. Mm-hmm. That's to call the bus back, obviously. So they're going in there, then. So I really want to quit my game now. But these poor guys are like, I'm having loads of time and fun on this island. <laughs> so, yeah. Well. Oh, I don't know what that music is. Is that because of the monster? The, no, it's, the it's just, just the, the, the yeah. land yeah, yeah, I told I you about. The, like, yeah. this is like... 50 different kinds of land. 50 uh, shades of land. Booty 19! Can, we get, can we get some clap back. emotes in for Booty 19? Look at that, creating all these walkways for me. This person, oh no, this is for creating, Bushi Yamada. For creating the, the stair, top 10 staircases yeah. in gaming. Oh, they're literally building there a road go. like Death Stranding. For, uh, Seriously, for, this is so similar to Death Stranding. <laughs> it's weird. For the uh, uninitiated, um, it turns out that uh, Booney19 joined our game, and Booney19 just built a giant staircase yeah, so yeah. that Liam can get uh, to... Was it oh, on, on sorry. top of it? This very pretty, suddenly. Oh, it's getting yeah. dark now. There's a lot of red in the sky. That was really nice. These are a light-up uh, walkways as well, so you stay safe. This is just like Death Stranding. The highways in Death Stranding. Oh. You've stopped now, though, haven't you? Booney! Oh. Yeah, I won't lie. It just feels quite similar, doesn't it? Yeah, I think Boonie is a bit like, well, <laughs> your 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 point, your call yeah. now. I'm not doing anything. I don't even know how to build Maybe these things. Maybe you can go to the right and go up there. Oh, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Look at this. They built these, like, weird, wonderful... 
It's it's game's actually really interesting. I'm I actually kind of in... it's ominous, right? Yeah. It's like you know you just it's like a fever dream. You just don't know what's going on. Well, not technically a fever dream, but it's just like loads of weird things going on in it. You're really weird. Oh, is that like a Mario pipe? <laughs> no, no, it's a chest. Mole's pathway. I, I I think I, I I think I'm right. My maybe. Oh no, it's like a, a, a thing you collected. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a just a, it's just a chest. Sounds like a, a warp pipe. Ah, I see. Right, and I've got one of these now. Ah, there you go. One of those matrushkas. Oh, it looks like there was only one on this map. Why did he eat it? Oh, no, it's 22. I think that's what that is. That's the dolls. Once that reaches zero, the island disappears. Do you ever wonder that uh, there might be a streamer or a famous person or whatever out there, and you're playing like a game like this, and then this this is on the other <gasps> side of the world, people are are absolutely raving about you. But that's not good at all. <laughs> when it happened. I died. I lost the doll as well. I'm going back to town. Oh, yeah, I've got a bit of soulness. No, he's, oh, he's really close. So, so you can hear him you. thudding around. Where is he? There he is. Okay, he's not. It looks like he's going away from us now. Yeah, he's, he's going away from us now. Narain is ah. putting the rip emotes up. <laughs> I'm really sorry for those who really like the rip emotes because uh, we we, we took that one down for Skyrim. It yeah. turned out that uh, <laughs> some people were like, hey, where's the rip emote? Where is it? Rah, rah, rah. No, it wasn't like that. I'm going to pick up this. What is it? It's a bottle. Yep. A little bottle. Cool. Oh, wow. That was a weird. Ooh, oh, my watch goodness. out, watch out, lady. Watch where you're going. And the bus stops there. Why are you going through the middle of my town? He's like, oh, if I just drive over people, I don't have to pick anyone up. Brilliant. There once was a lady who met her husband at a graveyard. It was a cold winter's night. Can I, can I do some ominous <laughs> music for you? Let's do this again. There was. It was a cold winter's night on the morning of February. You reminded me of the, the guy at the beginning of the, the Star Wars the Star Trek no the Star Wars game. Right. You, know, <laughs> you have to You know the you know the newest Star Trek, uh, Star Wars game? Yeah. And he's singing that song, that like throat singer. Yeah. <laughs> it just reminded me of that. Well, so I'm getting chased by some weird oh like no. kink thing. What's that? Like some BDSM thing. There's no there's no more gr <laughs> They're like Oh, oh. <laughs> I have got a shotgun. <laughs> sorry. I got sorry to interrupt Granny, but there we go. Ribbon tear. This game's got epically violent now. <laughs> Perfect. Anyway. You know what this game needs? A gun. Yes, no, but exactly. Yeah, a shotgun. We're going to webcam now, everyone. Let's go to webcam, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Here we go, everyone. <laughs> hey! I got the giggles. Yeah, that I got was the good. giggles thanks to Liam. I, that was a good game. I, yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I actually, I actually think it's good, yeah. I um I don't know how to quit, so we'll do, I'll do that after I've uh, done the signing out. Oh, close town and exit. There we go. Sorry, everyone. Loved you all. Bye-bye. That was to people in the ba game, not to you. Ba 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 ba. Uh, please don't shut... Please don't shut down or put your system into standby mode. Okay. <laughs> oh, it closes in 50 seconds, basically alerting the players in my game that I'm leaving now. Anyway, I just need to run around for a minute because this game, you cannot yeah. pause. Uh, it's online. I'll, so. I'll round it up then for you. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to end this, uh, this stream in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, th that was the Tomorrow Children. Again, it was provided by Q Games. Thank you so much for the uh, for the code. Amazing uh, stuff. It was, it's a really good game. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. And if you guys have any other cool games coming out in the future, please let us know um, because we'd definitely be interested in checking more of your stuff out. Um, so yeah, uh, Tomorrow Children, I I think it's really cool. Like I said, I, I like that it's so ominous. I like that it's so eerie. I yeah. think that's probably the best word for it. I like that you can do your own thing, but also still help out for like a, a greater cause in the game. Which is basically the same as Death Stranding. So a bus just came out <laughs> yeah, of nowhere and attacked me. Like, uh, the game town will now close. The, the bus we went all like, it's I, done. I have to look this up. Yeah, this one's mine, right? Well, no, you're left. I'm left. The boss was all like, Aah. there you go. That was my joke. It was a great joke. Yeah. Hilarious did it, did joke. Did it work? Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, um, but yeah, thank you all for tuning in. And what do you think of the game yourselves? Did you like it? Would you Would you want to pick it up? If, would you not want to pick it up? 
Like I said, it's very much like um, Animal Crossing. So if you like that kind of mechanic of building up your town, then yeah. It's a fun little one. I'm going to carry it on, I think, in my little free time. Yes. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to pick it up definitely at some point. Yeah, it's it feels unhinged, this from Sengui. Like, mm -hmm. it's not scary, but you feel it's not correct. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. uneasy. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely it. Yes. <laughs> Revel up. Thanks so I must much. get in the book. Uh, <laughs> You're in the book. I'll, I'll say this again quick as well, because we have uh, other people in the chat now as well. Uh, obviously, we did our 12-hour Skyrim stream. Um, so Liam is currently working on getting the full stream up on YouTube in some form, because it's a little bit more yeah. complicated than just four parts. uploading it. Yeah, four um, parts. So that's definitely going to be a thing. And uh, Rosie is next week hopefully going to have time for an, a recipe version of, of all the cooking streams, which, again... I highly, highly, highly recommend you check out because it is generally our best work. It is extremely funny. It has high edits in it. It's got um, three camera angles in it. And uh, we just had so much fun filming it. Um, even if you're not a big fan of Skyrim, I can still recommend it because it, it's uh, it's great. It's a disaster. It's wholesome. It's it's good. It's uh, Rosie did a fantastic job editing she that really one did. together. She really so, did. So yeah. Um, what's next on Buddy Games? Oh, actually, hold up. We need to do the Book of Eternity first. So... The Book of Eternity. T T Let's go. We have got, for subs, Archduke of Prussia. Thank you so much. Chocolate Breeder and The Rain. Thank you so much. Don't think I've missed anyone. Sorry if I have. Um, and then for bits, we have True Brit, Shoe Sharp, and River Love Wants Buddy. Yes. Which is amazing. Thank you yes. all so much for that. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Um, that's amazing. It immediately Thank you puts all. you in a, a high mood, doesn't it? When yes. You, when you say that. Yeah, it's a so, good thing to say. Yeah. Everyone should do it in their life. It's the perfect thing to do. <laughs> um, 12 hour breed demon stream. I don't know what that is, but that sounds weird. Yeah. Um, oh, Brett Demon. Oh, did I read? It's Bread Demon. Yeah. So I read Breed what Demon. What do you read? Breed Demon. So it's some sort of, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that'd be weird. I was <laughs> oh, like, what dear. was that? Bread Demon makes a lot more sense. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I'm just reading on a Twitch.tv yeah. account. Uh, but uh, <laughs> anyways, um, we've got a couple yeah. of non-Bread streams uh, yeah. coming your way. So on Wednesday, we're going to do more of Dog's Life at 8 p.m. BST, as per usual. And uh, for the Sunday slot afterwards, we're going to play 40 Winks, which is a platformer PS1 game. And it's going to build us slowly up towards that horror month of October. Um, then the week after, more likely Dog's Life again. And quickly escapes me what we're going to do that think, Sunday. But... I think, um, actually, just one moment. Oh, one yeah? Moment. You're ready to... We can announce no, no, it. No, no, no. There's nothing to announce. Okay. So next... Next Wednesday is Dog's Life. The Wednesday after that, you and Rosie are probably going to be doing some Cuphead bosses. Yes, actually, yeah, we can say that. Um, I'm in Le Londinium for the day. Liam is in London for London. his job. So uh, he's not going to be around on that Wednesday. But Rosie and I will bring back uh, Cuphead. And there's apparently some spooky uh, bosses in that game as well with the train and whatsoever. So Rosie and I are going to tackle some spooky bosses in Cuphead to get you a bit more familiarized with... Um, with the, the month of horror. <laughs> the month of horror. Yes, which should be great. Um, so yeah, please look forward to those streams. Uh, and we'll see you on Wednesday, 8 p.m. BST for more Dogs Live. Indeed. Uh, yeah. Oh, and one more thing. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, Liam, this is your favorite bit. We have got a Twitter, Discord, and an Instagram where you can oh, do all our socials. And then, as mentioned before, we have a VOD channel, yeah. uh, there we which go. <laughs> you can catch up on all of our previous VODs. We've got every single VOD in there, apart from the first three, which are Resident Evil 8, because we didn't know we could record stuff, because we were newbies to Twitch. <laughs> well, Rosie and I didn't think about it. Nico may have known, because he's, he's a veteran I, I in actually, the stream I world. I actually didn't know, but yeah. we, we, we were so busy with other little things. But so we okay. didn't record them. So we're missing the first three streams of all time. But apart from that, everything is on there, which is uh, it, it's good if you want to catch up on all the things. So we've got mm -hmm. that as well. But yeah, Twitter, Discord, on Instagram are the best place to follow us for all our news and you can also talk to us and chat to us as well because we love hearing from you. I'm just going to quickly say as well last comments in the chat uh, Liam has his mind in the contest yep. of Sangui. Yep. Archer's like excellent I see Bartlett along saying spooky bosses and Jesse over here says some incredible stuff seems incredible incredible stuff coming up can't wait to see yeah, it thank you so much everyone one. for coming along and uh, yeah we'll see you then um, okay Happy with yeah, that? Yeah, okay, I'm then. happy with that. Let's, let's go then. <laughs> yes. Let's go. We're not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can go. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. That's the button. That's the button. Yes. <laughs> yes.